a uh, continuation for kwan module 3 since ang module 3 man kay nag involve man siya og tulo ka lesson the first one is uh, electricity second is electronics then mo ang last about magnetism so kanang when we say um, magnetism it deals with uh, the two concepts or this is associated with the uh, uh, the laws of attraction so associated this year with these two concepts attraction and repulsion so uh, ato na siya isgutan kana later so ang kaning magnetism nag start ni siya sa discovery sa katong kuan sa katong kuan natural nga magnet and the, uh, the and the manifestation of the magnetism let's say we have a uh, magnetic material so at doing the magnetic material and then i will i will emphasize the poles because a certain magnet is composed of quadrants here uh, composed of two poles we have here uh, the south and the north diba? south and the north so ang ato magnet nagposes na siya og kanang mga magnetic lines so the magnetic lines starts from the uh, north pole nga side so starts as a north pole nga side then runs along the side and then towards the south pole so dagan kina siya mga magnetic lines nag, nag surround niya so again ang iya direction kay from the north pole padung siya sa south pole Ana siya daghan kina siya. Daghan siya mga magnetic lines. Mo na siya ay kanang manifestation sa kanang magnet. So we call this one, we call the magnetic lines, we call this magnetic lines as uh, magnetic field. Magnetic field lines. So sa ato magnet, <coughs> ang pinaka strong og magnetic field is kana asa man base ani nga figure di ba na asa na asa asa ba nasa kilid sa magnet or na asa kuan nasa poles okay sa mga poles mismo sakto so kanin siya mo ani siya to ang mga kuan area nga strong ang ato ang magnetic fields so these are kanang areas areas of strong magnetic field strong magnetic field okay so ang ato ang kuan magnet di ba siguro nakadua na mga magnets so naman siya yung north and south pole now if we are going to kanang kuan if we're going to uh, to To put this uh, kanang kuan magnet, let's say na atay kuan, na atay doha ka magnets. Na atay doha ka magnet, if we're going to, to put them together, nga to sila i-approach closer to each other. Let's say this is north, this is the south pole of the first magnet, and then this is the north and the south pole of the other magnet. Now what happens here is that since ang magnetic field lines travels from north okay from north to south so from north to south naging ana ang ihang orientation sa iya mga magnetic field naging ana and the same thing with the second magnet mi ana siya so as you notice mura sila og mura nagtud sila with each other kay kay lahi ang ilahang direction sa ilahang mga magnetic lines so pasabot ani mo ni ang gitawag nga repulsion so kung inyo kita o da, sa between nila they try to uh, kanang kuan to push each other so meaning natay repulsion repulsion there is a uh, repulsive force that happens between this area okay and then as you notice ang saman nga mga poles they ay occur ang repulsion so mo occur ang repulsion kung like poles di ba like okay like poles 
So, kung magtapad si North og North, mo repel, meaning mo mukuan ni sila, mo atras ni sila. And then, how about if, unlike poles? So, ato i-drawing na po, another uh, pair of magnet. So, again, this is the North, this is the South. And then, another magnet, we have here the South and the North Pole. And if we're going to draw again the magnetic field lines, so again, always ang direction sa ato ang magnetic field line is from north to south. So, diri ah from north, nagana siya. Then diri, ana siya. And then here, si north mo ngadto ni south. And since na may south pud nga closer niya, okay, si north, summer si north mo ngadto sa south, niya diri pud mga ri. Now, as you notice, Ang ato pong magnetic field lines, again, mo travel siya from north to south pole. Since na may closer po nga south dere, so kaning north on the left side would also tend to connect with the south pole on the second magnet. So, mga na siya dere, mo connect siya from north to south, north to south, north to south, north to south. Then, of course, some some of its magnetic field lines, mga ato po sa iya hang luyo. Kaya na po siya south pole nga counterpart. So, as you notice, na ay strong Kwa, na strong force nga nag-hold aning kaning duha ka space meaning this north pole on the left side and the south pole on the right side tends to attract each other so therefore na ay nag-exist diri nga area since by looking at the magnetic field lines murabag gi gihigop so gihigop sa left magnet ang right nga magnet due to the direction of the magnetic lines so na yung nag-exist nga attractive force or attraction. So, ang attraction di ay may tabo if we have unlike poles. Okay? And of course, this is just a review because kanang napangin sa elementary gali, ang magnets kung the same og the same og kanang koan poles mo repel, then different poles mo attract. Okay, so mana siya ang kanang koan, mana siya ang representation and manifestation of magnetism. And of course, kani ato ang koan, kani ato magnetism is kanang napo ni siya gigikanan. So ang ato ding magnet, so di ba ang object of study of magnetism is our magnet. Of course, so pangan kay magnet. So ang magnet, sa koan magnet. So giyon sa mga pagka-discover sa kanang kuan human kind. So ang magnet gi-classify ni siya into kuan kanang two categories. The first one is we call that as a natural magnet. So natural magnet meaning dili siya synthetic. Makita nato siya sa environment. So na mo idea kung sa mga example sa kwan mga natural magnet yep oh sakto sakto magnetite or lodestone di ba ang magnetite kay same as lodestone so the example ani is kantong gingon ni Mr. Kalatraba magnetite magnetite or lodestone so kana sila na discover na sila ma-attract na sila og mga kuan mga ferrous materials so when we say ferrous materials like iron steel nag-contain sila og kanang element nga iron so ma-attract na sila and then naapoy kaduha nga klase sa magnet gitawag nga artificial or synthetic artificial artificial magnet Okay, so artificial magnet. So these are basically mga ferrous materials. So mga ferrous materials ni sila. Ah, mga ferrous materials. And then since artificial man sila or synthetic, gyan sam ni sila paghimo. So daghay mga klase-klase sa pag synthesize ani. The first one is um by striking into a, a permanent magnet so striking 
on a uh, permanent magnet. So, laning dukdukon kana due to the kanang morabag uh, na disturb ang iyahang crystalline structure inside and due to the presence of magnetic field nga naa sa permanent magnet so murag na align ang iyahang kwan ang ila na align ang iyahang mga magnetic atoms sa sulod so maanang mo magnetize siya ang ikaduha kaduha nga method is um, by applying an electrical current so by applying by applying electrical current or electric current so kung apply na itong electric current ang atong kanang material ang best example ani is ang conductor di ba na ay magnetism may tabo kung sa may good example ni Ana di ba atong mga electromagnets di ba kanang mga coils of wire naka familiar ba mong solenoid naka naka solenoid kana bang coils of wire ba coils of wire gibubod kana bronze gibubod gali oh kana siya di ba murag na sa high school if naa kay if naa kay unsa na naa kay lansang naa kay wood nail then imo siyang bubudan og kanang coil of wire imo siya ikuan sa battery so kato siya mo magnetize to siya since nag-apply man tawag electric current sa ato ang material and that material is the is ki conductor baka ha so kanang kwan preferably conductor good kay if that is an insulator then it's very hard for it to be converted into a magnetized nga object so mana siya best example sa ikaduha nga method is ang electromagnet kan ato ang solenoid the third one is by heating by heating so di ba ang lugar nga nga kung asa ta mag melt di ba ang tawag ana kay kanang kuan foundry area na ay mga mag melting mag casting tag mga uh, kanang new objects made of metals so foundry area man siya sa foundry area nagitawag nga induction nga pag kuan induction heating so gikas na to silbi gi melt na to ang material up to a certain temperature then maka possess na siya gitawag nga magnetic kuan magnetic effect nga na siya maka possess na siya og magnetic kanang property so best ang best nga manifestation ni Ana is um this is a workshop during your first year um naka experience mo nag nagcut mo nagcut mo og metal gamit atong murag circular so awod lang no okay so kung naka experience mo pag nag, kung maka experience mo ni Ana kay sa ako kapila na ko naka experience now kato naggamit mi atong circular so katong for metal ha dili tong pang wood cut mi og mga angle bars then kung imong kanon kung imo tong tanawon tong iya mga chips ngadto pilit sa kuan pilit dito sa may lower tungod kay init man katong mga chips of course karan dito ni mo hikapon while still hot so kato amo tong gihikap pag kabugnaw na so pag kabugnaw niya tungod kay di ba kay gikato siya so ang iyang temperature may increase so may abot siya sa sa temperature enough nga mo nga mo magnetize ang iyang mga atoms so kanto pag kita na mo nagkumpul-kumpul lang iyang mga kwan nagkumpul-kumpul lang iyang mga chips nga na-generate atong pagkat so kanto siya may pilit siya sa metal so kanto nakaposes na siya og magnetic properties however for artificial magnets class okay kaning artificial magnets actually ang ilahan lang I mean I mean, taas silang advantage since magamit din nato sa mga specific na mga purposes. However, kanipong artificial magnet, ang ilahapod kontra ani is kung saman. Since artificial man sila, naaray limit ang ilahang kuan. Naaray limit ang ilahang kanang magnetism. So, meaning kanang a certain period of time, so magkahinay na po ang ilahang kuan. Uh, ilahang magnetic strength so kailangan na po sila nga 
i-subject to these three methods para na pod ma-revive na pod ang ilahang magnetic properties. Okay? So next, these are the two classification of magnets. Naapod tayo mga classic klase sa magnets. Ang kaning type of magnets actually this is under artificial magnets. Okay, this is under artificial magnets. Gi-classify po ni siya or na mga several types of artificial magnets. The first one is we call this as the uh, one. We call this as the uh, ferromagnetism. So magnetism. So when we say ferromagnetism, these are strong magnets. These are strong artificial magnets. Mga kusgan kani sila. Sa may example, di ba? Di ba ang kuan? Ang kusgan karon kay di ba? Katong kuan, nyudimium. Di ba kusgan na nga magnet? Are you familiar with uh, kuan? Nyudimium magnet? O, oh, kana sila. Kusgan kana sila. So, this, ferro, this ferromagnetism, examples ano nila is mga ferrous material like steel, iron, katong neodymium, so on and so forth. And then next, ay kaduha nga kanang kuan classification is, or ang kaduha nga type is gitawag siya nga kanang paramagnetism. So, paramagnetism na siya. Ang kaning paramagnetism, of course, since na naman tayo pinaka-strong nga uh, kanang kuan, nga kanang kuan magnet so kanin si para magnetism less stronger ni siya so magnetism less stronger ni siya kaysa sa ni ferromagnetism okay so less stronger so less stronger so sa best example aning mga kuan kaning mga kanang para magnetism So, money siya yung mga kuan, mga transitional nga mga metals. So, mga transitional nga mga mga metals. Transitional metals such as kuan palladium. Nana siya makita sa periodic table. So, money siya para magnetism. And lastly, ang last nga type sa magnet, specifically artificial magnet, is gitawag nga daya magnetism. So, daya magnetism. So, kaning daya magnetism, so, since less stronger si para, kani, uh, weak na kaayo. Siya may pinakalas. So, weaker. Weaker ni siya nga mga magnets. And on sa example ani, of course, kaning, sa may mga, di na to hapit mo magnet kaayo. Diba? We have aluminum, we have copper, copper gold okay gagmay small amount na kay na ilang mga magnetic properties that's why they are classified as diamagnetism kay weaker kay ilang magnetic properties okay so manisha we have uh, two main classification of magnets natural or artificial and then ang artificial is further classified as ferromagnetism, paramagnetism, and diamagnetism. So, the order of this classification is based upon their strength. So, mas kusog si ferromagnetism, mostly mga steel, mga iron. That's why kanang, kanang mga perman, I, I mean, kanang mga magnets nga naasa itong mga laboratories, kanang mga rectangular magnets, kanang, mga bar magnets, kanang pong mga horseshoe, o kanang, uh, kanang U nga mga magnets. Actually, steel na sila or iron kay medyo kan man mas cheaper then dali ra pud ang pag ang pag magnetize niya so kung gusto kag mas mahal ay mas mahal unya mas kusgan pa jud so go for neodymium magnets so mana siya now ang ang magnet tragyod or ang mat, ang kanang sana ang substance ra nga dili mawa iyahang kanang magnetism is man ang mga natural magnets so since kani sila kay of course kanang high cost pod ang pag extract ani nila so that's why sa laboratories they choose to have this artificial magnet kay mas easy ra i produce 
Okay, so since nagpakita naman ko ninyo about the manifestation of magnetism, so I, will sh I, I already shown to you the magnetic field lines, unsay na as a magnet, nga nung mo-attract siya, and then this, this uh, karang kuhan to concepts, attraction and repulsion, and also the classification of magnets. Now, ang next question is, nga nung ang mga material kay mo magnetize man, like, Ngano ang magnet, gi, tawag man siya nga magnet niya, ngano mo pilit man siya or mo repel? So, mana siya ang mysterious nga question. Now, ato na siya eh, i-answer. So, according to Kuan class, kanang Weber, if we're going to look at the uh, kanang subatomic level sa ato ang mga, mga kanang materials, mostly sa mga magnetic materials, Iyan nakita nga ang tagsatag sa mga atoms pod glass nagpossess pod na sila og magnetic properties. In short, ang atoms they are also magnets. Now, if we have here an object, so this is object A. Okay? Si object A of course composed of kanang hundreds and thousands of atoms. And then if ang iya atom gali, okay? If iyang atom kay mo ni iya hang arrangement siyang atom when it's kanang crystal structure nga level so this is north this is south if nagkagulya ang gali na ang arrangement meaning walay walay harmony so ang north pataka lang og point din si south pataka lang po og point meaning walay uniformity sa direction so therefore kani sila these are non magnetic so, sa mga, mga, mga non-magnetic na mga materials, of course, mga insulators like our cloth, books, plastics. So, ang ilang arrangement ana sa ilang mga atom kaya nagkagulyang. So, these are non-magnetic. According to kwan siya, kanang kwan Weber's theory. Now, consider another object. Okay, consider another object. So, let's say this is object B. Object B. Okay. Si object B, um, yung atoms kay, yes, most likely, na perfect passion kay, since sa uh, left side, dito nagpoint ang mga north. Okay. Sa left side, dito nagpoint ang mga north. Okay. Ngadto na ang mga north nagpoint, and then ang south, kay ngadto na po siya ni point, sa right side. Okay? Unlike with object A nga, uh, south, south, north, south, north nga, nagka, lailahay pa yun, ang mga purma nagka, nagka, nagka gulyang. So, here, medyo na-orient na ang ihang mga kuan. Na-orient na ihang polarity nga. In this side, the right side is naka-south, and then the left side is naka-north. North. However, based on the kanang position of the atoms ang osa is here kung if we're going to scrutinize each atoms here ang osa kay naka incline at a certain angle dili siya purely horizontal the other the others is are purely horizontal na uban nang naka incline so this one we can call this already a magnetic object but partial lang so partially magnetic partially magnetic. So, unsa di ay ang itsura sa pure ligid nga mo magnet na ginsiya. Kaya kani, partial naman ka. Ha? So, let's proceed to the last object. Okay? The last object. So, we have here object C. So, in object C, ang arrangement sa yung atom is naka-harmonize. Meaning, si North naka- point tanan sa left then si south nga to siya sa right or kanang vice versa so north diri south okay then north ari then south again this is the representation of all the atoms selected lang ang gipili o patla ka buok pa madali ta so here this left side kay naka north ang iya polarity the right side naka south so if this is the orientation and also uh, the position of the atom is at horizontal, meaning walay nag walay hin change of direction, because a, a uh, small change of the angle class 
would affect the ang saman would affect the orientation of our magnetic field lines di ba kung ipakita niyo ang magnetic field lines that runs from the north to south if na ay misorientation so it would also affect the entire magnetic property of a material so here mo na siya properly oriented so therefore we can already call this one as a purely magnetic material so magnetic na siya nga kanang material Okay, so nakuha ra? Nakuha ra ang concept? Okay, so mostly ang crystal structure sa kaning object C, this is a good representation of mga ferrous nga mga materials like steel, iron, carbon steel, so on and so forth. So mana sila, mo-attract na sila o kanang magnets. However, na ay Osaka ferrous material so this is just a, an added information na ay usa ka ferrous material so still a ferrous material ferrous material that is not magnetic meaning dili um, or di, dili siya magnetic in nature of course but di siya mo attract meaning imo gining taparan og kanang permanent magnet din siya mupilit although iyang composition kay made up of iron so unsa man siya so added information ni siya ferrous material that is not magnetic or or that is not attracted attracted to a magnet di ba kay mi mo ko diri nga mostly kaning object si kay mga ferrous material ni sila. So, therefore, they are ready to attract if na ay magnet or na ay presence of magnetic field or magnet. Kay compose mo ni sila mostly of mga iron, iron nga elements. So, na usa sa mga ferrous materials, bisag compose siya og iron, pero dili siya mo attract. Kani siya, kay gitawag ng mga kuan, uh, manganese steel. Manganese steel. Okay, so muna sila class. Mga manganese steel denoted as mga series mong ganyan. Ang steel kay, nanda sila yung mga code. So, ang code sa manganese steel is 13XX. So, kanyang mga manganese steel, na may manganese steel, yung mga ganyang taparag magnets, di na siya ma-attract. Although, that is a ferrous material. Okay. So, next, again, since nagtok ang tag-magnetism, now, Let's quantify na sa iyang strength, di ba? Ang importante sa magnet, ang mga tao nakadiscover og magnet, of course, una nga question gina nila, sa may gamit anang imong discovery? Para asa mo na, like, unsa may, unsa may atong mapakinabangan niya na. So, para, mapi, para mapakinabangan niya atong mga magnets, then, we need first to quantify the parameters nga present sa ato ang magnet. So, now we are going to to determine the strength okay so since kay namatay attraction and repulsion so it deals with forces so in other words atong pangitaon iyang strength or ato sukdon ang iyang strength so the strength of a permanent magnet so mag start ta sa ato ang mga permanent magnet sa ta permanent magnet okay so, permanent magnet can be artificial or natural. So, di ba, katong mga natural magnet, mato siya mga lodestone or magnetite. Kanyang mga permanent magnet, pwede po tag mga artificial, like kanang atong mga steel magnets, kanang mga bar magnets, they are artificial. So, in koan, in solving or in quantifying the strength of a permanent magnet, we have um, three parameters involved. The first one is the intensity of magnetization. So that is I. I, this is the intensity. Intensity of the magnetization or the magnet na lang para mubo. And the uh, ang iya diri ang koan, ang iya diri kanang units is ampere ampere so meaning current 
ampere per uh, meter. Okay? Ampere per meter. So, sir, ngayon na may current ari, sir. Of course, kanis siya, gidaganan ni siya og, og current. Meaning, an artificial magnet that is, or that has been subjected with an electric current para mo magnetize siya. Then, that is the uh, koan, that is the quotient. So, the intensity of a magnet can be solved by dividing the magnetic moment. So, naapo dahi tayo magnetic moment. So, that is magnetic moment. Magnetic moment. So, ato lang sana siya i-abbreviate as M. Magnetic moment M. And then, iya dimension or iya unit is kwanis iya. Kanang ampere. Ampere meter. Ampere that is current multiplied by the square or the area. So, mana siya ang iyang magnetic moment. And then, divided na siya divided by the kwan divided by the volume of our permanent magnet so volume of the magnet again kani siya nga formula class mo apply ni siya for kanang permanent magnet not for electromagnets because naam pud tay mga electromagnets so ang units ani sa volume unsa man to unsay unsay kanang kwan possible unit ka dere eh. Ha? Square meter or cubic meter? Okay, cubic meter. So, put here, cubic meter. So, mara siya. If you're going to manipulate the dimensions on the left side of the equation, then you can get the dimension on the right side. The same dimension. That is ampere per meter. So, mara siya. Mara yung masolve. Okay, so... This is how we are going to quantify the strength of a permanent magnet. So, again, ang kakosgo na di ay mag-agad ra sa volume. So, mean, I, I mean, volume o kanyang magnetic moment. So, kung imong tanawin class, magkadako di ang volume sa imong magnet, magkadako ni ang volume, magkagamay di ang intensity sa iyang magnetization. Okay? Given nga constant yung magnetic moment. Okay? Given nga constant yung magnetic moment. But, if our magnetic moment will increase, of course, automatic mo increase po daya hang intensity sa ato ang permanent magnet. So, this is how we are going to quantify the strength of a permanent magnet. Okay. So, let's proceed to some example, sample problem for our permanent magnet. So, here, we have the length, breed, and thickness of a bar magnet are 30 cm. So, we're going to write the given. So, the given here, we have the length of our permanent magnet, that is 30 cm. So, ito lang i-convert into meters, that is 0.3 meters. The width daw is 2 cm, so that is 0 0.02 meters. Then, the height or the breadth is 1 cm, so that is 0 0.01 meters. If its magnetic moment is, kanat siya. So, again, ang sa itong magnetic moment, Sa to ang atong kuan, magnetic moment, di ba, abbreviate na to as capital letter M. So, M is equal to 6 times 10 to the power of negative 6. That is ampere per square meter. Now, what is to find here is the intensity of magnetization, meaning ang strength aning ato ang given nga permanent magnet. So, that is I. Okay, so in solving this, since I already introduced you the uh, formula for the strength of our permanent magnet, again, this formula only applies for a uh, permanent magnet lang. Dili sa itong mga electromagnet. Since ang electromagnet, lahi na po siya o composition. So, solution here, from what I have shown to you, katong formula. So, we have the intensity of magnetization is just equal to the ratio of the magnetic moments, that is M, all over the volume of our permanent magnet. Okay? Here, wala, tay, wala pa tay exact value for volume, but we have some dimensions that are given. So, we can derive that one. So, mass 
I mean magnetic moment divide by our uh, volume of our permanent magnet. Now, based on the given here, based on its dimension, and sa may, and sa may shape ani ato ang permanent magnet. Sa pangan ani nga 3D shape ani niya. Diba this is a uh, rectangle, tama ba? Okay, this is a rectangular magnet indeed since naman siya length, breadth and kanang kuan kanang thickness. So mana siya. This is the north and this is the south pole. So here the volume of a rectangle, of course, you already know that one that is the length, the width times the height. So here, the magnetic moment plug in lang value 6 times 10 to the power of negative 6 ampere per square meter. Divide by the length is 0.3, multiplied by 0.02, multiplied by 0.01. The total is cubic meters, so therefore, makancel dato. What's left on the denominator is meter. So therefore, our final dimension is, or unit is, ampere per meter. So I here, to simplify, so nana shy 6 times 10 to the power of negative 6 then 0 0.3 times 0 0.02 multiplied by 0 0.01 then the result here is 0 0.1 okay so this is 0 0.1 ampere per meter so this is the intensity of our kanang permanent magnet per length Okay, per meter man siya. Okay. So, nai pa matana ni so far? Okay. Okay, so, kano? Kung yun na notice, medyo straightforward man. Straightforward man po dang iyahang kanang formula. So, if wala like kanang question for this part, so let's proceed to electromagnetism. So, again, kanyang siyang electromagnetism Ah, okay. Nay question? Ah, okay. Complex ang problem. Like, ang saman? Ang shape? Like, like material? Ah, oh. Imura ikuan. Yeah, intensity. Um, like, Ah, co ah, composite material, yan na. O, oh, kuan siya. Uh, Mag-agad sa imuhang magnetic moment. So, siguro, ang kana siya, since kanis siya nga kanang material, kay wala ang po specify So, ang iyahang given nga magnetic moment kay kaniman, 6 times 10, 35, negative 6 ampere meter squared. So, mura ka anig, di ba? Ang iya intens intensity is M over V. So, maad drag yun. Maad siya. Maad siya if na kay duha ka material. Let's say, bar magnet no. Let's say, na kay osa ka bar magnet. Niya, may attract rin sa osa. Kung yung may solve ila total intensity, so, mo to, i-add ni mo. Let's say, this is north. Dapat, ang arrangement din nga ni po, north-south, north south para mo attract pod ni para mo pilit ni siya kay kung dili siya dili na siya unlike pole so di na to ma-join ang duha so if you're going to kuan if you're going to find the the total intensity of these two magnets nga come in contact so ang imong buhaton is di ba naman is like ka nga mga volumes let's say uh, volume 1 sa kaning usa then volume 2 and then kaning mga tag sa mga magnets na po sila like, ilang kagulingan nga mga magnetic moments so M1 and then M2 so the total I is just equal to I1 plus I2 again this is not for current this is the uh, this denotes for the intensity so yun na nara ako hara ok so wala problema so now proceed ta sa kan electromagnetism. So kanin siyang electromagnetism 
kuan ni siya class uh, this is a conductor so di ba naman tayong mga magnetic nga mga materials so mostly sa mga magnetic nga mga materials they are conductor meaning na sila mga free electron sa sulod so kana siya good kana siya para himuon nga electromagnet okay so kumintag electromagnetism class this is a a transformation okay this is a transformation from electrical from electrical to magnetic nga kanangkuan phenomena okay so if we have here a conductor so example lang sa conductor ha so if i have here a conductor so na kay conductor and then kung ato gay na siyang kanangkuanan ato gay na siya sudlan og og current let's say if we're going to connect this in a power source let's say a battery on sa baka nga mga electrical power source so na current nga mo pass ni ini okay of course if you do this at home ayan ni siya sak sak sa imo hang outlet kay mo kirig jud ka mostly sa mga sa mga kuan mga coils nga to makita ng mga TV na mga windings actually naka coat naka coat na sila di na ingon nga mo, nga magwonder mo nga nganong di man na maka short circuit sir actually coated na siya so kanang mga coils nga inyo makit-an nga mga bronze nga nasa mga TV ray, sa mga radyo coated na so kung kung gusto ka mag-experiment niya ni so be sure to to insulate yourself so again we have here a given conductor and then ato siya butangan og current okay now by definition sa electromagnetism if magpastag current sa ato ang conductor now na ay ma-produce daw na ay ma-produce ang itawag ng magnetic field okay so ang magnetic field asa may direction ani so unlike permanent magnet di ba unlike permanent magnet kung sa to'y direction sa magnetic field sa permanent magnet travels from asa to class okay north to south diri sa conductor di pa pwede sa conductor ha basing mag kuan kuan mo ba nga okay ang conductor na diri ang north na diri ang south now we cannot kuan karang we cannot prove pani ana Ang ato lang di is based on the theory nga kung ato ang pagian ng usa ka conductor o ganang current sa bisaya pa kurente but that is not actually the kanang kuan translation. <laughs> so kung atong kanag current so na ay magnetic field and the direction of the magnetic field is kanang around the conductor so meaning in, in, in kuan siya circular siya and this direction is perpendicular perpendicular to the current so we're going to call this as the magnetic field lines so magnetic field lines so here sa electromagnet lahi na gid siya lahi na gid siya representation sa ato ang permanent magnets so ang magnetic field ni ani kung naay current pababaw ba na or paubos same ra well, sa kung paubos ka, mabaylo ra ang rotation. Here, akong i-considered nga, this is a current that moves upward. My rotation of the magnetic field is clockwise or counterclockwise? Ano sa'yo nakita, class? Is it clockwise or counterclockwise? Okay, clockwise. Okay, clockwise iya rotation. Now, if ato balihon ang direction, again ha, um, mag-matter ang direction sa imong current nga gi-apply o ang direction po sa magnetic field. So here, kung bali na atong current, then ang rotation sa atong magnetic field lines, mubali na po, counterclockwise na po. Mahala po si Dari. Mahala po Dari. So still, perpendicular to your current. So this is a simple representation of an electromagnet. Okay? And this two right here, we're going to indicate this para inyo may namduman, this should be perpendicular to each other. Perpendicular. Okay, mo na siya sa ato ang kanang simple representation of an electromagnet. However, of course, kailangan 
ato po di improve ni siya nga kwan kay if naratay nga na actually ang maproduce mong kung nga magnetic field is ang strength nga maproduce is very small very tiny so para ma-improve na to ang iyahang strength okay so let's go to the upgraded nga version mo na niya kung gikan ninyo ganiya nga solenoid so when we say kanang solenoid actually this this is a kanang kwan a uh, device that is composed of kanang coils of conductors so coils of conductors or coils of wire okay coils of wire ang forma sa solenoid again naatay gitawag nga core or sa ato pa natay buburan syempre but anyways other solenoid class walay core ang gibutang but para mo pa improve ang strength sa magnetic field i suggest nga magbutang gigani so this one is your kanang core core sa imong solenoid ang sakuan pa dira ka mag mag magbugod so here ato butangan og solenoid or coil so here ako another coil dira so depende kung pila ka turns now factor po na ang number of turns anyway later we are going to quantify that one but here i'll just show to you the visualization of our solenoid so mana siya and of course our core is na pod siya length we put here lc so the length of the core and it also matches the length of your coil okay the length of the core matches the length of your coil so here class since ang atong coil kay naka nakabalikos man aning core now unsay direction sa ato ang current based on the first representation di ba ang current kay along this uh, along this conductor how about on the solenoid naka wrap up naman siya unsa may direction sa ato ang current are Okay, palibot po, sakto. So, therefore, uh, atong current, nakaingana siya, class. Nakaingana po. This is our current I. Now, there is sa ako, and, okay, same ragid ha, ang ipakita ninyo, ang basic sa electromagnetism is the current should be perpendicular to your magnetic field. Si magnetic field, ari sa first, naka-horizontal, meaning, kung atong ni siya, ikanang, I front view pag view na to sa front so naka horizontal ni almost horizontal si magnetic field si current kay naka vertical here pabalik sila if si current naka horizontal unsa may direction ni ni magnetic field unsa may direction ni magnetic field or naka vertical di ba o or paubot so naka vertical okay sakto so this is again ato indicate this is the coil so therefore if naka horizontal ang atong current so ang ato ang magnetic field lines naka vertical so here since this is uh, counterclockwise so nag start siya sa ubos so ato drawing na magnetic field lines nag start sa ubos mo na siya so therefore na create na to mura na natog na simulate ang ato ang permanent magnet since na natin ani mudagan siya nga to og moari since naka coil naman siya so moana na siya dire og moari so gigan siya sa ubos may dagan siya pababaw okay since naka coil naman ni eh, so daghan kay mga magnetic lines here so dire a ah, paubos then pababaw then paubos then pababaw so as you notice this is now kanang kan murag same ang iyahang figure array sa ato ang permanent magnet. So here by looking at the direction of the magnetic field lines asa ka diri ang ato ang north pole. Asa ka atong north pole ani? Eh? 
sa ubos. Since, di ba, by definition, ang North Pole kay dira nag-start ang ato ang magnetic field. So, this now our North Pole of our solenoid and this is the South Pole sa taas. So, kung balik taro ni mo ang pag-connect sa solenoid sa power source, mo bali ni ang koan, mo bali po ang iyahang polarity. So, last na mo nga koan ani, siguro kung nakaabot mo ka tong amuhang koan, project sa magnetic levitator, kakita mo siguro mo no? Siguro sa inyo, ang uban nakita. So, mo ito siya example solenoid. Nakita mo ato? Diri sa workshop? Oh, so, mo ito siya. Kuan gito nga solenoid, like, ang iyahang kuan ato, ang iyahang magnetic field, kusog kaayo, mawagay mo pilit ang katong bulitas, katong steel ball, mo pilit gito siya. So, kanto, kung amo to balik taron ang pagsaksak, so, mo ito, either iyahang buhian si steel ball, kay since naka south pole siya, pero amo na pong balihon, mo attract na po si steel ball, since naka north pole na po siya. So, nagets na ninyo ang idea. So, nakuha na? Okay, so here, since kay bawa naman tayo sa parts, kay bawa naman tayo sa direction, kay bawa naman tayo sa mga parameters here, ang sunod na po, again, kung saan na ito pag-quantify ni ini. So, again ha, ang coil, nag-compose na siya of n number of turns. Atang na iswad daan, n number of turns. And of course, the core po diri a na po ni siya iyang kaugaling ng mga properties. Since ang core is made up of a material, so natay gitawag nga property nga mu. Okay, mu. That is the permeability. So we're going to talk that one later. So here, ato i-quantify ang strength sa atong solenoid. Or any electromagnet. So here, the first... Okay, the first kanang kwan, the first parameter nga to i-quantify is we're going to call this one as the kwan is here. This is the uh, magnetic okay, magnetic field intensity. Field intensity. So, I will show you one, two, three. Three parameters. Nya, medyo Siguro sa inyo na mo'y maglibog, but na ko'y i-kanin yung hat, uh, kanang hatagan na mag-clone ini. So, for magnetic field intensity, in yun na yung naman is mo na siya mo-quantify sa pila ka number of magnetic lines. Number of lines. Again, for a certain magnet class, dili infinite ha, dili ingon nga na na kay magnet, hala, infinite na drama mga magnetic lines. Of course, we can still quantify that one because as what I have discussed to you, if ang number of magnetic lines increases, so magkanab kakusgan imuhang magnet. So again, kung naagay pangitaon magnetic field intensity or your the intensity of your magnetic field, so therefore that pertains to the number of magnetic field lines. Or in short, ako lamit na di, the number of lines. So pila ka buok. Now, uh, the magnetic field intensity is denoted by the capital letter H. Then, this is equal to um, the number of turns of our solenoid. So, kung mas daghag turns, kung yung nakita sa mohang project, kusgan kayo, meaning daghan kag lines nga makreate. So, that is N. And of course, dapat, this is an electromagnet, agian na to og current. So, that's why we have here I, that is for current, divide by, of course, the length C. Now, nga nung nasa ubos man si length C. Magkataas man good ni ang ato ang core, kung sa'yo may tabo. Now, it will take much longer time to reach this magnetic field lines towards the South Pole. Nakuha ninyo? Nakuha ninyo, class? If can you see, ha, magkataas ni core, ha, taas ni, ang mutaas na ni length, now it will take a longer time kan magnetic field, mga to siya. So, therefore, medyo magka, magka anam, -anam siya kagamay. So, therefore, dapat, if you're going to design a solenoid, make, make it sure or see to it that uh, enough ra ang imong length sa imong core, nga imong buburan, para strong ang imong intensity. 
So, if we're going to analyze this, so medyo naglibog po mo dira. Now, uh, unit analysis. So, the N is in turns. Okay, number of turns mo na. N is turns, then multiplied by I. I is current that is in amperes. So, amperes. Divide by the length. So, standard na lang nato is meter. So, therefore, our... Um, our unit for our magnetic field intensity H is in ampere turns that, that is ampere turns per meter so manan yung duman ikaduha is natay gitawag second nga parameter is natay gitawag nga magnetic flux magnetic flux density density actually mono ni siya mono ni ang mo quantify sa kakusgun sa atong solenoid or any electromagnet so ato ni kuanan ato ni siya i-labeled as so na i join wait lang na i join so i hope nag 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 take note mo dira so magnet uh, magnetic flux density so kanin siya muni ang uh, nagquantify sa strength of our solenoid or the strength of our magnetic field MF so meaning again relate rani ang atong magnetic field intensity H sa atong magnetic flux density kay kung daghan na taglines kusga na na siya so here sa first nga criteria wala pa dira na quantify kung unsa ka kusog kay ang dira ato ra gi gi sukod kung unsa ka daghan nun ang iyang mga magnetic field so therefore that is incomplete pa so that's why we have here the second parameter so for the magnetic flux density actually that is represented by the uh, the letter capital letter b b and then that is equal to the product okay the product of our mu multiplied by the h now as you notice on this uh, simple formula actually the magnetic flux density as what i have told you earlier is very related or closely related siya sa magnetic field intensity ng h mo nang we have here a proportionality constant mu so what does mu denotes mu denotes can you see ya, si mu this denotes the permeability permeability of our core meaning atong gibuburan unsa na siya nga type of material na na siya kaugalian nga permeability nga value and this permeability okay can i siyang permeability actually ang iyahang aning kanang unit is in kuan siya this is in Henry. Henry per meter. Okay, that is Henry per meter. Actually, ang Henry, so, naanis siya sa atong electrical. Well, anyways, wala namang gigicover sa module. Ang Henry, muna siya ang unit of measurement that quantifies inductance. So, are you familiar with inductance? Nakasugat na mo man ang inductance? So, di ba, naman na sa inductor. O, inductor, inductance, capacitor, capacitance. So, muna siyang Henry, gigamit na siya sa inductance. And then, kaning H, again, we already know it's kanang unit. Di ba, si H, that is in ampere turns. That is ampere turns per meter. Now, sa atong electromagnetism class, actually, you cannot... Uh, I mean, more ni ang kanang branch sa science nga unlike sa atong mga thermodynamics bang nga mga makita nimo ang mga ang mga units kay they are related to each other and we can cancel them. Here, tungod kay daghay I mean this is still a continuing science, a continuing body of knowledge. So progressive pa. So dipigid kayo certain ang ilang mga kwan, kwandri, mga kan, uh, mga cancellation of units. Now, ilang gibuhat kay kana siya nga unit mo ano po ni ang pangalan so that's why here 
Okay, ito ang i-resolve ha. We're going to combine their units. We're doing unit analysis here. So, mu is in Henry. Henry per meter. Ni multiply yan daw siya ni H, which is the magnetic field intensity. That is in amper turns per meter. So, the resulting unit is Henry, taas kayo, Henry amper turns per square meter. Sa obos, kagets ta. Kay this is an area. Sa babaw, libog. Kay Henry amper turns daw. So, what they did is, pagka-discover na po sa osa ni Ani, naman ko yung naka-discover Ani, aw, iyang gibutangan o Weber. So, Weber per meter squared. So, therefore, the equivalent of Weber is Henry Ampere turns. So, di ba? Weird kayo. So, pag-discover niya, give Weber lang ni kay kung magdutag calculations, taas na kayo, Henry Ampere turns per square meter. Oh, yan lang, give Weber. So, ang magnetic flux density, this also pertains to the strength of our magnetic field per unit area. So, atong butangan di strength of magnetic field per unit area. So, that is Weber per square kanang kwan meter. So, dirita focus tagbalik ni permeability. Kanin ni permeability. Okay. So, since permeability is associated with the type of material nga nag-compose sa ato ang core, kung asa ta nagbubod, then, na po tayo mga several parameters, ani, but don't worry, hindi na po siya complicated. So, let's start with what if ang atong solidoid walay core. So, meaning, ang naara niya kay hangin. So, that is a free space. Wa tayo gibutang. So, therefore, ang tawag niya is the uh, kanang relative, I mean, the permeability of a uh, free space. And dani sa inyo ang scientific calculator, the equivalent is 4 pi times 10 to the power of negative 7. So, pag-explore dira, nanin siya sa constant. That is, the unit here is again Henry per meter. So, Henry per meter. That is the um, permeability sa hangin. So, nanakay solenoid, walay core, mora na iyahang permeability. Now, if naakay core na yun, yung material na, let's say, i, i, uh, iron or a steel, so, naapot ay gitawa ng laing quantity and we're going to call this one as the relative permeability, that is R. This is relative permeability. Permeability. Okay. Kadaghan na ba anig mga kuan, sir? So, kanis siya, relative permeability. Ayun yung hinumduman, ani, is mora rin siya og kanang specific kanang kuan, specific gravity. Diba ang specific gravity is the ratio of the kanang kuan, density of an object, sakto ba? Density of an object over the density of the water. So, sakto ba to class? Diba, sakto ba? Ang specific gravity is the ratio of the density of the object over the density of the material. Diba, sakto no? So, the same thing with kanang the relative permeability. So, R, this is the ratio of the permeability of the Material, so mu m all over uh, mu o. Okay, mu m over mu o. The permeability of a uh, free space. So, ato din ibutan diri. This is the permeability of a free space. So, free space ni siya. That is for air. So, free space. Okay, and then finally. Finally, class, ikatulo, natay gitawag din nga kwan. The third one is the magnetic flux. Meaning, this is not a density kanang kwan. This is not a density anymore. So, if di rin siya density, therefore, wala na per unit area. So, 
gi-multiply na gi-multiply na ni siya og basically ang area. Sa tibutang, we have here the magnetic flux. Magnetic flux. Magnetic flux mo na siya ang totality of the strength of our solenoid. So tibutang diri the the strength of our solenoid or the strength of its magnetic field. Okay, so here, ang formula, oh, imara i-multiply yan. And then, for magnetic flux, another parameter na po, iyan siyang gidenote as phi. Magnetic flux phi is equal to the magnetic flux density that is B multiplied by the area. Kung asa ni siya may travel lang ato ang magnetic field. So here, ang area nga may travel sa magnetic field is outside sa solenoid and of course also to the inside of the solenoid so di ba may travel po ni sa sod kani magnetic fields na po ni sa sod and sa sod mas mas pas pa siya mo travel kay since naka kan man siya yung pasok man siya sa iron core then mo travel na po siya sa air nga na pa cycle ra so again area here denotes the cross sectional area so when we say cross sectional area if we have here a drawing so kung natay drawing magdraw ta ari ah okay if we have a magnetic flux so mane ang representation so magnetic flux travels in a certain cross sectional area ac okay the cross sectional area and here actually um kinesia class um, kani siyang kuan kani siyang Weber per square meter na po siya equivalent okay katong invention ni kuan Nikola Tesla actually 1 Weber per square meter is just equal to 1 Tesla 1 Tesla nga unit or just capital letter T so the the capital letter T denotes Tesla nga unit so again, Weber per square meter or equal to 1 Tesla. So here, the unit of the magnetic flux, kung magkantag unit analysis ani, that is, diri a, this is equal to, the magnetic flux density is in Weber per, kung siya, Weber per square meter multiplied by the area in square meter. So therefore, makancel ni si square meter what's left is Weber na. So, therefore, when we say magnetic flux, that is in Weber. Okay? And if we are going to substitute the I, okay, actually, ang kanin siyang si, si B ari, si magnetic flux density, kanin si B, this is also the same as mu, since we already have a formula for H, that is the number of turns multiplied by the current, so that is Ni, over LC. So, this is the uh, another uh, form of our magnetic flux density. And the same thing with the magnetic flux. Ato uh, na siya convert Well, this is just the same as phi is equal to the B here is mu Ni over LC multiplied by the area. That is AC or the cross-sectional area. So, maroon na siya. Inyo hang tigaman. We have three parameters. First, magnetic field intensity. Talks about the number of magnetic field lines. Second is magnetic flux density. Talks about the strength of our magnetic field lines per unit area. That is per unit cross-sectional area. That is the unit there is 1 tesla. And then lastly, we have magnetic flux. This pertains to the strength of the magnetic field, meaning the totality, since wala naman siya area. And also, this is already multiplied na by the area. And its unit is in Weber's. So, wala'y pangota na ani? Okay, wala na? So, let's proceed to some examples here. I mean, before the example, the I, actually, ang application atong mga formulas nga kung gipresent sa inyo is ma-apply na siya sa atong gitawag nga 
magnetic circuit. So, dapat importante po nga atoning uh, ma matakol din magnetic circuit although wala ni gitakol sa inyo hang kanang kuan module because kani siya magamit ni sa inyo hang ang um, subject po hon sa ECDC nga kanang kuan ECDC machinery. Okay, ECDC nga machinery nga subject. So here, a magnetic circuit can be modeled using our kanang previously discussed nga sa left side diba this is an electrical circuit so electrical circuit okay electrical circuit ni siya on the right side mo ni siya ang ato ang representation sa ato ang magnetic circuit okay so here we have um, three parameters for electrical circuit, di ba? Sa electrical circuit, we have the voltage. This one is the di is the driving force for our uh, electrical charge. And we have here I, that is the amount of charge nga may flow. So, meaning, kung sa tubig pa na, this is the uh, fluid flow or the volumetric flow rate. And then, Kaning resistance, of course, not all wires or conductors kay mo allow siya 100% nga flow nga wala yung mga friction. So, therefore, na atay mga resistance. So, gi-represent na siya as R, the resistor. So, therefore, we have by Ohm's law, we have this relationship, di ba? This is from Ohm's law. Ohm's law. That is I equals V over R. Of course, you already know that one. Now, if we're going to relate this in our magnetic circuit, money ang representation sa magnetic circuit. We have here the force F. So, kuya kayo. F here denotes the. So, kanisyan si F. This one denotes the driving magnetic force. Driving magnetic force. Or CI source sa ato ang magnetic field okay and then what is this one diba we already discussed this one this is our in summary siya class phi kung nakainom doon mo sa previous nga slide phi is in summary siya nga quantity okay magnetic flux so that is magnetic flux meaning iyang gimeasure ang atong strength sa magnetic field now for electrical, ang miagi diri kay ako ibutang, miagi diri kay charge. In the magnetic circuit, ang miagi diri kay magnetic field. So, I hope naka-differentia mo. So, ang miagi diri kay magnetic field, ang sa electrical circuit, ang miagi kay magnetic flux. Now, an electrical circuit can be, I mean, the model of this electrical circuit can be, can, can be visualized in the actual guide nga. Marag mumatch guide ba? Ang visualization ari sa iya ang electrical circuit, mumatch guide siya sa real life since namatay mga connecting wires. However, for magnetic circuit class, kanil siya, diliingan niya to ang purmahang rin ng mga wires. Ang magnetic circuit, actually, ang atong wires mo na siya nagrepresent sa atong mga core. So later ako i drawing diri. So proceed ta sa kaning kinalasan, kaning R. Kaning nindot nga pagkahimo sa R. Well, this R for electrical circuit that is the resistance, of course, sa magnetic circuit na pud tay mga mupugong sa ato ang mga magnetic flux. And we going and we are going to call that one as reluctance. So bag nga word siguro sa inyo reluctance meaning taas kag reluctance gamay og flow sa imuhang magnetic field or what we known as magnetic flux so kung taas kung gamay og reluctance ang material let's say that is a steel or an iron an iron core so di ba ang iron core kay mo allow man siya mo flow og magnetic field faster so therefore gamay siya reluctance again kung dako kag reluctance more or less mo kan ka marakag mo marakag insulator ni ana so here unsa makay possible nga mga porma sa ato mga magnetic circuit 
in in real life applications let's say na akay uh, best example lang ni ini we have a, a reluctance no so yung ano ni siya ang pagrepresent yan ni class we have here an iron core okay an iron core ako yung iron core ha unya at the beginning or bisag diri asa first niya na ko gilikit diri so this is my coil or my winding then ako na siya gi-connect dito sa battery positive and negative of course here na ay current nga mi flow di ba na ay current nga mi flow we have here i of course this one na pud si i number of turns since ako man siya gi-coil so therefore from these two parameters we can already solve for its equivalent driving magnetic force that is also the same with the voltage in electrical circuit diba the formula for our driving magnetic force is kani multiplied by the number of turns of our solenoid that is the source of the magnetic field kay diri man nagsugod ang magnetic field ha di man ni makaproduce si iron core kay wala man siya di man siya magnetize kani rang coil diri so man siya nag uh, nag drive sa magnetic field the formula there is ni and the next since nagrepresenta dig magnetic flux as you notice kani siya si phi so si magnetic flux again di ba mo travel na siya sa outside sa ato ang kanang kwan outside na siya sa ato ang kanang atong coil of course mo agi na siya sa ato ang core so therefore magsubay na sa core so at i represent dire nga ni siya gikan siya dire sa sa, sa tumoy mo agi siya dire and then if our if our problem requires us to solve for the circuit from this point A to B to B so therefore mo na to ang assume nga path sa ato ang magnetic flux mga ri sa last part sa B so therefore that would be the coverage of our kanang pagsolve na to so therefore ko ato siya i represent as ing ani so mo na siya and of course in this iron core na na siya iyang kaugalingon nga reluctance Okay, na na siya ikaw galingon nga reluctance. Now, ang saan mo pasabot nga series parallel na, sir? Well, marara po na siya o ganang sa circuit. So, again, this is the representation of a simple circuit. A simple magnetic circuit. Simple magnetic circuit. Now, unsa may mga example sa mga kanang mga answer mga series or parallel. So again, kani akong gibutang diri ang ahara. This is not the length. This is just the representation of the reluctance of this core. Okay, the reluctance. Now, ang reluctance ato na siya i-quantify later. So this is the representation of a simple magnetic circuit. Kung mag-series na siya class, well, ingan nira ang pag-denote or ingan nira ang pag-drawing. So series here Si Ate Botang dire eh. nakaing ani naman siya no Series nga na siya Ay sorry na red ato like ko an So series na no natay duha ka let's say duha ka material sa ato ang core Meaning, kani material 1, then material 2, ingan na siya. So, here, naatay source of kanang koan, source of magnetic field. Again, another coil of wire. So, coil of wire na po, another eh. Trinity connected. So, therefore, another current na po nga mo-flow ari ah. So, another current ay okay, na demon. So, another current na po diri ah. This is I. So, dira, and then, of course, na po yung number of turns. Here, naanatay doha ka. Naanatay doha ka ka ng material. This is the first one and the second one. So, therefore, each material has its own reluctance. That is R. R1 and then R2. 
So, since they are arranged in series, ang doha ka iron core kay arranged in series, then we can uh, we can have an equivalent circuit with this one in series. So, therefore, this is a series magnetic circuit. So, series magnetic circuit. Okay. Next, for kanang parallel, aw, ka idea na siguro mo. Now, for for parallel, of course, imo na po itupad. Let's say we have here our first core. Gita para ni mo og secondary core. And then, of course, na itay girap ari. So, girap diri sa doha. Girap sa doha. So, therefore, um, na itay current nga may pass to diri. Ah. So, we have current I, then number of turns here. And here, na na tayo doha ka iron core. This is the first one sa upper o sa lower. So, therefore, ang iahadiri is we have again R1 and then R2. So, here, nakaparalel na siya. Since nakaparalel man ang position sa ato mga iron core. And going back the I sa series, actually, the total current here, R total is just the sum. Diba? Mura siya o resistor. So, R1 plus R2. Again, di, di na siya to, total resistance. Total reluctance. So, sorry. Total reluctance. And for parallel, mo na siya ang representation. So, this is a parallel magnetic circuit. At makita diri, um, ang iyahang total reluctance is just equal to, mara ito inverse, 1 over R total, 1 over R1, plus 1 over R2. Okay, and in solving for the reluctance, now, balik ta sa ato ang mga available nga mga datas. So again, for magnetic circuit, we have three parameters, starting with phi, start, next is F, and then next is the reluctance. Now, we already know F because F is just equal to the number of turns times the current. From the previous slide, we know that the magnetic flux is just equal to, diba? that is equal to the magnetic flux intensity multiplied by the area or other, other, kanya, other formula derived from, from the magnetic flux intensity is mu ni or, uh, multiplied by the area, cross-sectional area, divided by its length. So here, if we're going to substitute that one, these two parameters here, sa atong relationship, to solve for reluctance, so we'll know that the reluctance R is just equal to the kanang, uh, driving magnetic force divided by the magnetic flux. So that is Ni divided by mu Ni area over the length. So, here, maka-cancel si Ni. Diba? This one, maka-cancel na siya. So, what's left? Ang ato the expression for reluctance of our magnetic circuit is just equal to the length of the core divided by mu multiplied by, by the area. So, nakuha na? Mura na siya ang ato ang reluctance. Class, wala yung pangutanaan eh, so far? Okay, so let's proceed to kanang kwan, mga sample problems. So let's say, we have uh, problem 1. So, um, assuming, na ata diri kwan ha, na atay kanang iron core. So, na atay first ng iron core here. And then, na I gap somewhere here. Unya, na po is another iron core. But of course, para na I flow sa magnetic field, um, ato butangan dire o kanang marabag junction ba? Meaning, gikonek giha po ning doha ka mga core. Connected giha po ni, although na I air gap. So, this is an air gap. Air gap. So, here, ato po i-drawing uh, na adri atong source. 
So, source. Source sa tong kuan. Okay, pabali day. Muna ang coils. So, we have here. Then, the next is ang ato mga given. So, the length of the first core is, this is uh, 5 cm. The length of the gap, the air gap, the length here is 1 cm. So, 1 cm ni siya. Next, the length here is 3 cm. Okay. And then, the diameter here, assuming that this core is a rod, meaning it has a diameter of 1 cm. Okay. So, ang kani ang mga iron core, the same ni slag material. And it has a uh, relative permeability. Sa so, ibutan din mga given, we have here R, the relative permeability. That is 2,500. Okay. Next is we have n here meaning ang number of turns sa source. That is kanang kuan 200 turns. So 200 ka turns daw. The current that uh, kanang passes to the source. So we have here i. So natay n number of turns diri ah. So i here is 1 ampere. So usara ka amperage. The next Um, wala, wala naman so I think okay na I mean sorry kanidi ay 500 turns ni siya diri uh, this one is 500 turns ok here we are going to solve okay, the required here the required of the problem so required we are going to solve for the magnetic flux meaning pila dai mi agi diri so nam ni mi agi diri mi agi diri nga phi that is the magnetic flux from point a so from this side up to the last kanin from point b okay so what we need to do here is we are going to draw its equivalent magnetic circuit para ato ma visualize again in drawing the magnetic circuit is ato i represent mga reluctance Now to to analyze this para makabawat ka unsay arrangement aning iyang mga reluctance sir. Imo kitaon ang mga ang mga cores kung asa mo agi si magnetic field. So since normally si magnetic field nag originate aning nga aning nga coil so mo pass through ani anay siya aning first nga first nga kanang core kaning kaning una the first one. Then mo agi siya aning air gap. Again, ayaw i-neglect si air gap ha. Okay? Nagyap mo na siya yung itawag nga relative, I mean, nagyap mo siya yung permeability value, di ba? The value of the permeability for an air gap, that is the constant na sa cycle, 4 pi, 4 pi times 10 to the power of negative 7 Henry per meter. So, ayaw na i-ignore. Again, reluctance. Nagyap mo na siya yung reluctance, di ba? And finally, diri sa second nga second nga iron core then mo na ang last so if we're going to convert this into an equivalent magnetic circuit it would look like this class so we have here a source then mo agi siya sa first nga first nga iron core so drawing na to dira second is the air gap third is the second core then balik so therefore we have here f That is the driving magnetic force. Here, this is for reluctance 1. That is the core 1. Reluctance 2, that is for the air gap. Then, the third reluctance, that is for um, the kanisya. This is for the core number 2. Okay. Of course, ang miagi diri, series ni siya, so miagi diri, is your um kwanisia your magnetic flux that is phi so mo na ang ato ang isolve okay so solving for phi now ato sa ikuan di ba since this is um this is series so ato na siya i-treat as 
ang magnetic flux ng moagi nila for each material equal ra. So, therefore, we can say that uh, here, solution, mura siya voltage current ag resistor. So, that is the total voltage. Here is the total driving force, F, is just equal to the total kanang kan current or total magnetic flux multiplied by the total reluctance. So, that is R total. Since we are to find uh, the magnetic flux, so that is phi is equals to F over R total. Since wala pa tayo F, I mean wala pa tayo R total, so ato na siya so, But anyway, since this is series, so we know that phi is F all over R1 plus R2 plus R3. Okay. Next, sa isunod, so we're going to um, expand this kung unsa ilang mga formula further. So here, we all know phi is equal to F is, unsa ragot tayo formula for the driving magnetic force? Kinam doon pa mo? Ha? Ang formula for F N times current, di ba? Okay, N I. So, sakto. So, that is N I. N I divided by here, the reluctance. Okay, again, formula for reluctance. Gi-derive na to ganiha. That is R is equals to the length all over D uh, the relative permeability of that core multiplied by the uh, area. Okay, di ba sakto? So therefore, for R1, so balik tayo sa tong equation here, for R1, that is the first core. That is L there, so L1 all over mu1, then we have area1, plus L2 all over mu2, area2, plus L3, mu3 over area3 but since the second reluctance is an air air gap so actually represent this is mu o meaning the permeability of uh, free space mu o now asa man taaning mu1 of mu2 since they they are of the same material so we can just label them as mu mu na lang okay the same man slag material the same slag core so, put here, uh, mu, then mu. Next question. Um, unsa mo na itong pagkuhaan ng mu? Class, do you have an idea how to get the mu of this core? Okay, sakto. So, since we have a given relative, um, relative permeability, so therefore, di ba, R. Again, this is not reluctance. This is the re relative permeability. R is equals to um, mu ana nga core all over mu o. So therefore, to solve for mu, that is mu is equals to R mu o. So therefore, substituting that one again in the numerator, we have N i divided by L one all over mu o R plus L2, we have mu O area 2, I forget to put here area 1, then plus L3 over mu O R uh, area 3. So, since common man diri si mu O, hatala extract. So, we have here um, Ni all over, we have here 1 over uh, mu O multiplied by L1 over R area 1. Actually, this is a circle. So, ito lang butan dira pi over 4 d squared. So, plus L2. So, L2 all over uh, area 2 na lang dire. So, that is pi over 4 d squared. Again, they have the same diameter, ha? 
even the air gap kay enclosure may diri so na nako confine siya same og diameter ang tanan then plus l3 l3 all over uh, r pi over 4 d squared so therefore pwede ba ma factor nato si si diameter squared and also si pi over 4 kay same on this lag area so ato na is substitute daan so here again dapat consistent ka para di ka maglibog sa mga cancellation of the uh, constants here now consistent ka lang da dapat ula kay mga powers dira so here substitute the number of turns here is 500 so dapat taka 500 then turns dili ingon nga mega turns sa para siya multiplied by the current here should be in amperes kung naa na siya mga milliamps microamps i convert sa into amperes so that is 1 amp divided by 1 1 over mu o is diba 4 pi so 4 pi times 10 to the power of negative 7 so don't worry ana kay naka henry per meter na siya standard so copy siya then i told you earlier nga ako i ako ni siya i-extract ning area diri so i'm gonna put here pi over 4 seems same man sila then be sure that the diameter should be in meters since this is in centimeters so converting this into meter may mo 0.01 meter tama ba oh sakto 0.01 plug it here we have 0.01 squared multiplied by the first length of the first core that is 5 cm so the equivalent in meters is 0.05 divided by r r is 2500 plus the length of the air gap is 1 cm so in meters that is 0 0.01 divided by 1 or just z plus 0 0.01 plus the length of the last core is 3 cm or that is 0 0.03 divided by 2500 again okay so the final answer ato na simplify so we have 500 divided by um konisya 1 over uh, 4 pi 4 pi times 10 to the power of negative 7 then multiplied by uh, pi over 4 multiplied by 0 0.01 the diameter squared then multiply na pud siya by 0.05 divided by 2500 then plus 0.01 plus um, 0 0.03 divided by 2500 so ang result niya ang result niya is 500 divided by the answer the result is um, very very small that is 4 okay that is 4.92 approximately at times 10 to the power of negative 6 what is the uh, quan class on sa my unit aning ato ang quan ato ang magnetic flux okay weber so this is weber so, muna siya ang ato ang magnetic flux nga may travel sa ato ang duha ka, duha ka core og na air gap gamay. So, nakuha ninyo? May pangotan na ni so far? Wala na? Okay. So, uh, try to answer this. So, ako lang siya if if flash anyways naka record ng pud ni so so i want you to answer this one para ma, ma, ma challenge food mo so can i see ya anyways this is just uh this is still a series gihapon ni siya nga kuan series gihapon ni siya nga magnetic circuit so again as you notice pwede pud niya screenshot so can i see ya mo ni ato ang source so na source 
and here a magnetic field diri kay mi balik so this is the path of the magnetic field again the mean path ha pag calculate ani unlike sa katong gipakita niya sa problem 1 is ang path nato is unidirectional meaning gikan na ari padong adto now for for a closed loop since this is a closed circuit pag calculate niyo sa path is magagi mo sa iyang center so calculate kag distance here to this center then here to here and then here to here and then here to here so mo na sa imong length nga calculate so that's why here ang path sa atong flux diri a ah, is mo na sa diri gikan are mi ubos siya then mga to siya then mo balik are so calculate nimo mo na sa iya total nga ma travel sa imong hang magnetic flux okay so try to answer this one anyway straightforward one po ni siya and then ang ipangita na po is the same with the previous that is how much flux so pasabot anang how much flux that is the magnetic flux katong gi represented as phi okay so kani practice ni siya so proceed ta sa principle of a DC kanang kwan DC motor so familiar ba mo og mga dynamo class Kita na mo dynamo? Unsa may sulod sa dynamo? Okay, na i coils of wire, di ba? Yes, na i coils of wire and then na i kanang permanent magnet. So nagwonder ba mo? This is an added uh, I mean additional information ninyo. Nagwonder ba mo sa sa inyo han dynamo? Let's say this is our dynamo. Muna yung shaft. So, nada sulod. Now, wonder mo nga sa, sa iyan mga terminals, na yung nakakabid dira nga mura o mura o brown nga kapasitor. Or na yung mga kuad, na yung mga mga DC motor na yung gikabit nga kapasitor. Ano saman, ano saman na yung function na ng kapasitor nga naadira sa mga dynamo? Na may idea? Asa mo? Store of charge? Okay, sakto ka mo. Char ang kapasitor mo, store of charge. Na unsa yung gamit, since naka-store siya charge, unsa iya ha makontribute sa ato ang motor. This is our kapasitor. So, di ba si kapasitor mo, store of charge? So, unsa kay iya gamit sa motor no? Para ma-answer na nato. So, mo dig deeper sa ta sa unsay mga mechanics or mga working principles nga naa sa tong DC motor. So, we're going to answer this one later. So, here ang principles sa DC motor actually nagikan ra ani nga statement. So, this statement it means that ingon diri a ah, a current carrying wire in the presence of a magnetic field has a force induced on it. So, di ba, sa previous na tong discussion on electromagnetism, if naada tayo conductor, kaganiha, di ba? If naada tayo conductor, agian na tong current na ay magnetic field na nag-surround niya. Here, ang katong nga electromagnet, since this is a current carrying wire, Diba? In a presence of a magnetic field. So, ang current carrying wire, nanan siya yung magnetic field. Gibutang pagid siya sa kanang magnetic, I mean, sa area nga na ay magnetic field because this is in a presence of magnetic field. Now, na ay force nga maproduce. Meaning, mudagan siya. Okay? So, if we're going to visualize that one, okay, actually, ang best example ni Ani is ang ato ang maglev. So, naka-familiar ba mo ng maglev? Class, okay, maglev. Maglev class, I mean, this is just a crude uh, visualization. Let's say, muna yung mga rails, and this rail is, they are magnets. So, on top, anak niya is, nagdagan daw dira ang ato ang 
Dagdagan daw dira ang ato ang let's say our conductor. So ako i-draw diri ang atong conductor. So dako kay ni nga conductor, nakagina siya dira. Now this is the fundamental principle of a, of a maglev. Natay conductor, ato daw siya giagian og current. So atong giagian current, so therefore nani siya magnetic field nga nagsurround sa iya. So nani magnetic field nga nagsurround sa iya. Okay, connect. This is connected to a power source ah. Mao pa sa mga maglev nga mga trains. Here, dili lang siya nag process of magnetic field since by this definition, a current carrying wire, so kani siya or carrying conductor kay naa siya sa area nga naa ay magnetic field. In the presence of magnetic field has a force induced on it. So therefore, kani ang gi ko ang railing sa ubos na na siya magnetic field po dira nag -ana. It's either on that direction or or below or maybe onwards or downwards i mean upward or downward so diri ah nanay magnetic field so nag interact ang magnetic field sa kaning magnet below ug ang magnetic field ni conductor what happens is na ay unbalanced okay na ay unbalanced moment sa ato pang discussion sa previous na ay unbalanced torque and that unbalanced torque or moment produces a force. So, meaning, kanidi ay either mudagan nga to or mudagan ato sa side. Mao nang ang maglev, magdagandagan na. And of course, para mo keep on track, well, ang maglev, very kani ka na siya. I mean, complex po da ang iyahang uh, pagkuan, ang iyahang system, complex po para mo, ma makadagan kin siya. So, kani siya, kani akong pag visualize ari, Mura siya ang simple tanawin nga. Mudagan ra kung ay ibutang ni mo. Well, if you are going to create uh, a real one, so, mas, kan, mas complex pa siya. Actually, nagkuan mi ani, nagproject mi ani sa amo ECDC. So, this nagdiso jud mi og padagan. Bisag simple lang nga conductor in a presence of magnetic field. Okay, mag spark spark siya. Anya, namgunay siya yung friction losses aning kuan. Okay, kailangan imong conductor, butangan ni mong wire. Of course, di gyan ni mo kabitan directly with a wire. Kaya di na na makadagan kay si wire, makapot niya. What you need to do is, dapat conductive ni mo railings and also your conductor para mo dagan-dagan siya. So, waka may kakuan add to kayo since mag-spark-spark mga good. So, nice spark nga mo create between this conductor and this railings. And that spark would create some slugs. So, katong nga slug mo prevent to sa conductor from running. But still, Naka, dagan mi ato pero kailangan itod so therefore nag require siya enough nga starting force para mo move siya okay so if we're going to quantify this again every principle nam give formula so let's have another diagram let's say ha ako ni siya ipa front view so this is the front view ato ini front view ingan niya ang forma niya so we have here a conductor again conductor na siya and then uh, na ay magnet dere so we have here a magnet so magnet ni siya of course kaning magnet na ni siya ay magnetic field magnetic field lines assuming pababaw or ay magnetic field line kay very straight so sorry na nalapas man So, itong balik ko nag-drawing ang conductor. So, magnetic field lines. Very straight ni siya. Assuming straight ni siya. Naka-vertical. And then, na ako yung current nga gi, gi pa kuan sa akong conductor. So, let's say the direction of my current is here. So, this is I. And of course, we have the length of the conductor. Butang na to. This is the length LC of the conductor. So, please don't forget the formula ngayon ang ipakita ninyo previously kaya magamit yun na ito area so here oh, ayan po kalimtingan na po yung magnetic field si conductor so magnetic field nga interact niya so here by having this orientation so ato na ang inyo po another parameter nga inyo i-denote is the angle between the uh, between the conductor and the magnetic field so again this case the conductor is horizontal magnetic field is vertical 
Therefore, the angle between them is 90 degrees. In this orientation, di ba? That is 90 degrees. Ang, ang force ani class, kaya na may force yun di ani. So, the force is, of course, still perpendicular, always perpendicular to your conductor. Okay, kay mawon po na siya ay nag naghata og direction sa atong movement kay if we have a force that is being induced, of course mo move ni ang ato ang ato ang coil or ato ang conductor I mean. So here the force is here. Actually, we can use uh, the right hand rule. So gamit gid mo sa right hand rule para ma-verify nato ang direction. So this is the force nga na-generate niya dira nga direction. Now, again, if we're going to change the direction of the current, so again, another conductor with a length LC. Length LC, then, naa siya sa presence of a magnetic field. So, we have here a source of magnetic field on a certain magnet. So, na napun ni siya yung mga uh, magnetic field lines. So, naka-straight siya, meaning, uh, perpendicular siya sa length of the conductor. So here, if we're going to change the direction of the current, as what I have shown to you sa previous period, now, mabali, by right hand rule, mabali na ang atong direction sa atong force. So this time, padong na siya nga to. Si force, padong na ito. Now, as you notice, again, nagya po niya theta ari, the same with the first illustration. As you notice, kabantay mo na atay how many kuan? How many parameters present diri ah? Okay, nakalimta din ako butang ang magnetic field B. So, we have the force F, we have the length of the conductor LC and the magnetic field B and the current I and the angle theta. Now, nga nung big deal man si angle theta? Well, Dili man sa, sa lahat ng pagkakataon, sabi nila, nga ang ato ang length of the conductor kay always perpendicular to the magnetic field. Sum, ing ani ang orientation. So, meaning, naka-incline siya. And then, ang iya magnet kay still naka-horizontal. So, what happens here, so ato yung kuhan magnet, ang, ang angle na between the magnetic field lines, kaning green, o ang sa atong conductor kay may change na. Meaning, we now have an acute angle theta. So, acute angle na ni nga theta. nag na siya. So, therefore, it is now already an acute angle theta. So, less than 90. Again, this is still LC. So, the length of the conductor. And we still have our uh, current here. So, nag tayo current nga I. So, importante yun ang kaniang relationship sa atong angle. So, therefore, to quantify this, since uh, nag, nag rotate ni siya, since this is the fundamental application of our DC motor, nga no galing motoyok na siya, because of this force F. So, to quantify force, the force is just equal to the current I, kung paspas ang current, or daghan ang current, kusog mo tuyok, or kusog ni mudagan ang conductor, kung taas po rin siya ng conductor class, dako po siya force, tungod kay kung dako siya ng conductor, makahold siya o enough current. Next is, kung kusog imo magnetic field, ngayon mong gibutang, kusog kay ang force, and then ang sign of theta. If this sign approaches perpendicular, that is equal to 90 degrees, di ba, the, the maximum value of our sign is 1. Di ba? So, therefore, mo na siya maka-attain taong maximum force. That's why it is desired to orient our conductor to be perpendicular to the magnetic field. So, just remember this. Force is ILB. ILB sine theta. Or bill, bill sine theta. Kamo na yung bahala. O pag mnemonix na ini. Bill sin theta or ILB sin theta. Okay. So, given this concept, unsaon ni nato pag-apply sa ato ang DC motor? 
Okay, simple sketch sa atong DC motor is, di ba? Kato inyong gikuan ka ganiha. Okay, a DC motor. So, ang DC motor comprise of kanang armature, di ba? Na siya windings. But, of course, it has a permanent magnet on its side. So, ato siya represent na siya ngani. It has a permanent magnet. And, of course, kaning permanent magnet, dapat ang nagkatubang niya is opposite sila og poles. North and south. Di ba? Kung naka nakakuan na ba mo? Nakaukab na mo dynamo class? Di ba? Sa kilid na ay kung ano, na ay marag nakakurve nga permanent magnet. O di ba na ah? So, kuan mo na siya. Mo na siya ang atong permanent magnet. Mo na kung gearpresent ari kaning N and S. They are kanang gi kan sila they are directed nga opposite sila ila direction so here another component for our dc motor is our um armature and ato siya ilibeng nga blue okay ang armature that is composed of uh, several windings i mean thousands of windings mga wires na siya mga conductors nya kanang wires class Insulated na ha, meaning gidip na siya in, oh, gidip na siya o oh, kalimot ko ato nga kuan solution. Basta gidip na siya sa ato nga solution nga mo insulate. Meaning bisag nagdikit na siya og wind nimo, di gina mo buto, di gina mo spark, di na mag short circuit. Manang ang uban nga mga daot nga mga motors more or less na short circuit na. Meaning nagasgasan ang usa ka wire mo na na come in contact. So we have an armature here and of course for a DC motor nagita shaft. So, naan na siya yung shaft. Kabit. So, natay shaft. Ara. And then, di ba? Unsay direction sa magnetic field, ani class? Kato ang gibalik-balik yun ganiya, di ba? If we have a permanent magnet, the direction of the magnetic field travels from? Asa man? Travels from north to south. Di ba? So, nag-inanan siya. Diba? Very horizontal yun. Like, the angle here is 0 degrees. Okay. Based on the formula class. Based on the formula here. Diba? Ang angle, theta, diba? We have F force is equal to ILB sin theta. Based on my drawing here. Our conductor is at 90 degrees, right? Okay. Diba? Naka 90 degrees siya with respect to the magnetic field. Kaning green nga arrow. So, therefore, our theta here is 90 degrees. What happens? We have a minimum force or maximum force. Okay, maximum force. So, therefore, we have here F max. Now, what happens if we have maximum form? A uh, force. Mo move ni siya, di ba? Mo move di niya ang ato ang conductor. Kaning blue, mo move ni siya. And since ang iya motion is constricted or I mean restricted with this shaft, so it will turn. It will not go further. It will just turn. So therefore, there is a turning motion happens. So mat turn siya in this direction. Pag turn niya class, the second koan, the second nga illustration is this one N, balik ta N, and this one is S. Now, mo abot na siya, nga mo parallel siya. Mo parallel siya sa ato magnetic field. Class, nakay koan ninyo. Question, if that is parallel, what would happen? What is the angle between this magnetic field lines kaning green ang gidrawing ug ang ato ang conductor unsa may angle ani diri ah okay 0 degrees and what is sin 0 okay so 0 so therefore the force here is 0 di ba
Okay, so zero ni siya diri. Our force is zero newtons or zero gud. Atro butang atro ni Eric si N kay marasyag maon. So zero. Now kung zero siya, nabay tuyok may tabo. Okay, wala, di ba? Wala. Pero nganong mag, nganong magtuyok magyapon ang ang DC motor nga at that particular nga angle wala mang kahit turning or wala mang kay force nga may tabo. Nganong mutuyok man class? Juto nana siya. Unsa man tungod sa Na may idea class nga nang mutuyok man siya bisag dira ang force dira kay zero na Unsa man kay explanation ni ana nga nang makatuyok man gyapon siya Wala idea. Wala, wala. <laughs> okay. Makatun makatuyok ni siya tungod sa gitawag nga sa physics ni siya nga kan, physics ni siya nga kanang principle. Nag-start with letter I. Juto. Okay, due to inertia. Kaya di ba nagtuyok na gay na o sa ka object? Kung maka experience gay siya o wala y force, do you think mo stop siya ni? Uy, wala may force. Hunung ko. Aw, mo violate na siya sa law sa physics. Since nagatuyok siya gikan aning ninety degrees, pag zero degrees niya wala siya mituyok. Automatic mula pa siya. Now, ang mabantay na to basta lang na lang kay value sa theta na nagig kay gamay ng force. So therefore, ang tendency if mulapas ni siya diri, muanak ni diri, mulapas niya nga to ang kanang conductor or armature o gamay, automatic, mutuyok na po siya. Pag abot na po dito sa ubos, ada, kaya nakaperpendicular na po. Tuyok o ginsakto. Maunang, tungod sa pagtuyok, okay, tungod sa pagtuyok, maunang, magsinig siya o kaan, kanang tuyok ning ato ang DC motor. Now, balik ta sa katong akong kan ganiha. So, diba at point 3, so ang i-illustrate na dridaan at point 3, the magnetic field and the conductor is now perpendicular again. So, again, maka-experience na po tayo maximum force. Ari, ah. Now, going back sa atong question ganiha, since kayo ba naman taon sa working principle sa DC motor, ang orientation naman by using this formula and the orientation of both the magnetic field and the Uh, and the uh, armature or the conductor wire so kay bao na taan with, with the inertia with the help of this inertial force so this DC motor would will keep on turning as long as nai power ha okay kani siya kani atong conductor gi supplied ni siya current ha okay because of the formula force equal to i current so mo na atong DC motor connected na siya sa atong kuryente okay dapat naka supply nga current dira Now, balik tayo sa question. Nga no ang DC motor kay na may kapasitor? Na na may answer yung add to? Nga no ang atong DC motor kay na may siya dari kapasitor? So, na na may siya dari kapasitor? Okay. Wala idea? Okay. Now, ang reason nga kanang nani siya kapasitor class is that, di ba, naka-experience tag zero array. Okay? Assuming lang ha nga, simple na kayo mo ang pagka-design sa DC motor. Now, unsay may tabo kung kung, kung naka-zero degree ka. O niya, nagsugod pa lang ka. Meaning, wa, wa kay, wala kay motion. Meaning, the inertia also here would, would say that, okay, if you are in a state that uh, you are in stationary, So, kung wala'y outside forces, then 
stationary giga forever. So here, wala. Pagsasak ni mo, dili enough ang kuryente. So, unsay gamit sa kapasitor, siya maay mo, mo start tungod kay dako kay siyag charge nga gi, gi store pag release anak class enough gid ni nga kusog na kay ang current area sa imong conductor mo swivel ni pag swivel niya gamay dito na mo start okay nakan mo this is a starting capacitor mo nagitawag ni siya og starting capacitor meaning mo tabang ni siya sa pagtuyok sa DC motor initially so na gets ninyo Okay, so mana kung mangita mo mga DC motor na gina siya, ang uban nga mga dynamo sa pambata, gamay ka ayo ka ng ceramic capacitor, ka ng murag brown nga circle o purma so pang, pang, pang tabang po na mm -mm. ang uban, they use electrolytic capacitor ka ng cylind cylindrical shape nga capacitor, ka na mutabang po na siya so na gina siya, kay maglisod o start up yung motor, unless kung manumano na ni mong tuyokon, bitaw, mugana siya Imo gyud nato ko ng DC motor mo naman no. Oh. Motuyok na siya. Pero lain pagay all the time magtuyok tuyok na lang ka. So, mas maayog butangin lang yung capacitor para once mo i-turn on siya, motuyok na gina siya ang imuhang dynamo. Okay, so mo ni siya, don't forget this formula. Mo na ni siya ang nag quantify sa principle sa atong DC motor. Of course, in your AC DC pohon, napa na siya yung mga formulas. This is just the basic fundamentals of the DC motor. Dapat ka maumo kung asa siya na ay maximum force that is at 90 degrees. That is the magnetic field is perpendicular with your conductor. Walay force nga ma-generate kung 0 degrees. That is ang conductor kay parallel sa imuhang magnetic field. Okay, so let's have some examples. I mean, usara din eh. Example 1 ra. So here we have a 0.75 meter wire carries a current of 20 amperes. Our given here, na adatay length of wire that is L C is 0.75 meters. So nagsilang ko dere to denote that, that this is a conductor. Carries a current so that is I is equals to 20 amperes. Very dako kayo. The wire experiences a force of 5.8 newtons. Na asya force daw kuno ang wire, naka-experience siya of 5.8 newtons. In a presence of a magnetic field, meaning gibutang dahi siya sa area nga nai magnetic field. So magnetic field, again, this is in B, capital letter B, that is 0 0.5 Tesla. Again, T stands for Tesla. What is the angle between the magnetic field and the wire? So, ang required dahi diri ah. Required diri ah is the angle theta. So, meaning, if we're going to illustrate this class, nag i ni siya ang ang conductor. And then, I mean, some magnet, some source of magnet here. And then some presence of magnetic field. And we don't know whether that angle is 90 or maybe a naked angle. We don't know. So this is just a representation. So na current nga mi pass. And then naka experience siya of force. Force F that is equal to 5.8 newtons. So pila kay angle. Pasabot ana angle sa kani magnetic field. Kaning green. With respect to our conductor. That is with respect to our Y. That is theta. And that is the variable that we're going to find in this problem. So, solution. Now, by applying those formula that I've shown to you earlier, that is the force of a current carrying conductor is ILCB sine of theta. So, sine of theta is just equal to the force divided by ILCB. Our force here is 5.8 newtons. Divided by the current is 20 amps. 20 amps multiplied by the length that is 0 0.75 meters times the magnetic field 0 0.5 tesla. Well, 
if you're going to look at the units so misery newton ampere meter tesla actually makancel na sila unit list ni why because this one um pag kan magud ani nila experimental so as what i've told you earlier padayon man gud siya nga field so gin tak ni nga if you're going to follow the units that is for force that is in newtons i is in amperes l is in meters b here is in teslas then ang guaranteed nga ang sign dira kay kuna siya dira ang sign ana dira is um in degree or that is unitless so many makan sila mga units ani okay again uh, b here is not kanang weber per square meter but in tesla well anyways ang weber per square meter is also equal to tesla so wala day wala day, wala day problema so ngano siya again ang b diri dapat naka weber per square meter or tesla so simplifying this i mean we can also take the arc sign para mas madali arc sign of 5.8 newtons over 20 times 0 0.75 times 0 0.5 so the resulting angle between the conductor and the koan conductor and the magnetic field so that is arc sign uh, 5.8 divided by 20 times 0 0.75 multiplied by 0 0.5 so the answer is 50.65 degrees so the angle between the conductor and the magnetic field is 50.65 degrees so that is our final answer okay um, na yung pangutan, ha? Na yung pangutan, ha, class? Okay, wala well, yung pangutan, ha? Then, let's proceed. Let's proceed to the next one. So, the principle of a generator. So, are you familiar with a uh, generator class? Kita na generator? So, ang kanin generator, this is a, an electrical equipment that converts Okay, that converts uh, mechanical energy converts uh, mechanical energy to electrical energy so electrical energy this is the reverse of our DC motor or our motor okay di ba atong ato ang motor kay mukaon man to kurinti that is it converts the electrical energy into mechanical energy whereas for a generator that is may convert siya og mechanical energy nga no mechanical energy man because as you notice sa uh, ato ang structure sa ato ang generator ingana na siya class so we have here uh, wires now kung ato ni patuyo ko niya shaft so there is a mechanical energy that takes place Mechanical, mechanical energy nga na itabo kay di ba mechanical deals with motion so pag toyok with the windings inside nakaproduce siya og electricity mo na ya output electrical energy that's why it is a device that converts mechanical energy into electrical energy so on sa may iyahang principle behind the ani well, the principle of a generator starts with a, again, a conductor. It starts with this phrase, that is a moving wire, a moving wire in the presence of a magnetic field has a voltage induced in it. Kaganiha class, sa atong motor is 
that is a current carrying wire. Okay, na ito'y kurinti, whereas diri, wala'y kurinti. Nga nung gamit man siya. Tungod kayo generator, pag convert niya into mechanical to electrical, wala'y kurinti nga na-involved. So here, if we're going to draw a conductor, so let's say this is our conductor, meaning this conductor is in motion, so this is mobile, mobile niya itong conductor di ay, So, we have a mobile conductor and then we have a magnet sa obos. So, we have a magnet sa obos. So, this is our magnet. Now, of course, our magnet kaya na siya magnetic field. Kaya yung mandiri, a moving wire in the presence of a magnetic field. So, na yung magnetic field dira, assuming this is vertical. So, na-influensyahan ang ato ang moving wire. Again, si moving wire dira, wala gintaw na siya ay um, current. Ang iya ra kay, ning move siya. So, nag-move move lang siya. Meaning, we have here a movement. So, we're going to indicate that one as the velocity. Of course, it has velocity V. Na na siya velocity. Of course, don't forget that we also have the dimension for our conductor. That is LC. Okay. So here, if not a movement, assuming ha, C to it that our conductor, so this is our conductor, in order to have a maximum induced voltage here, so later on, dapat si conductor should be, should be perpendicular to your uh, magnetic field. So this is your magnetic field that is in B so both of this conductor and this magnetic field so kani sila at in order to produce a maximum voltage here dapat naka perpendicular siya perpendicular to each other perpendicular siya to each other now we have here um Nata diri kuan. Nata diri pila ka mga parameters. So, ato pan circulan, we have velocity, we have the length of the conductor, we have the magnetic field. Of course, kung mani mo buhatan class, imo na siyang luwag luhagon. Actually, kung imo nang butangan dira, sukdun ni mo ang voltahe between this conductor na kay, uh, na kay ka ng multimeter, imo sukdun iya hang volts, or iya voltage in volts. So, na ay voltahe nga register. So, mo na siya ang very kanang surprising discovery sa una. Tungod kay, mo na siya ay nagpa, uh, nagpa kuan class, nagpa pukaw sa pag-invento sa generator. Tungod ni Ani, pagkitan na, uy, kung ako idagandagan ang conductor sa sa area nga na magnetic field, na ay voltahe nga ma-generate. If there is a voltage, of course, there is a current. Okay? So, on sa may amount of voltage dra, and we're going to represent that, that one as E. E na lang. E is equal to negative of the velocity, meaning, kung paspaso na ni tuyok, meaning you have uh, kanang higher velocity, so, dako kay kagbultahin nga ma-induce. And then, also for the magnetic field. If your magnetic flux or magnetic field na siya ay kalibog, if the strength of your magnetic field, or also known as the magnetic flux, increases or dako siya therefore dako pag voltage nga ma-generate and also with the length of the conductor now previously sa DC motor ang amount of force put is directly proportional with the length of the conductor and also with here in the generator directly proportional gyud gihapon sa length of the conductor so kung yun napansin kung mutaas diya tong conductor taas diya ma-produce so that's why ang armature winding, daghan kayo nas lagi pang wind in order to maximize these uh, parameters here. Nga dako kag ma-induce nga voltage at a small space. So, man ang armature, gidesign, gid nga makahaw siya o daghan nga mga windings. Okay. So, for a generator, so, nakita na ba mo generator class? Naka-ukab na ba mo? O mga gen o generator?
Wala pa. <laughs> so again, the reason for this negative here is by Lenz Law. Lenz Law state nga opposite ang iyang ma-generate nga EMF or voltage. Sa so assume na to, let's say, kung mag-supply tayo voltage, ang ma-generate niya is ang pa-opposite, pa nga dito. Mga negative. Anyways, don't worry if ang um, problem requires you to, to find the induced voltage, uh, you, you, you can have it the absolute. Okay, so going back sa so, pangutan na ganiha, if naka-open na ba mo, nakita na mong generator, well, ang basic na mga parts sa generator for an AC ha, because uh, we have two types of generator. We have the DC generator and the AC. So, we have AC generator. Now, ang um, basic part sa itong generator, to make it simpler, so, nata diri, um, again, importante si permanent magnet, kay sa itong kan ganiya is in the presence da of magnetic field. Okay, in the presence of a magnetic field. So, nagtapad gaya po ni sila. Okay, nagtapad na. So, this is north, this is south. So, between uh, between ano nila is nagyapon siya gitawag armature. So, again, this is permanent magnet. Tatay label, this is permanent magnet. Uh, between this kanang two permanent magnets, ang uh, nadira nga ito gitawag ng armature, mga mga windings. So, ato la, ako lang i-represent, blue. Let's say, this is our armature windings. O, saro ni ka-wind ha? Hanara. For visualization na. And then, for an AC generator, na siya gitawag nga slip, slip rings. Slip rings o sa slip rings duha. Sir, yun sa may function is slip rings. Anyways, ang slip rings mo connect na siya sa itong mga windings. Kaya di ba, ang atong goal is to capture here some voltage para makadunita electricity. So, one of the windings connected here and the other windings in the armature is connected to the other slip rings. So, again, as sa i-label, para di maglibog, this is our armature winding. And in our Balik ta sa ato figure, that is the uh, wire, the moving wire. So, masya, armature winding. Kaya nag-move ba yan yung armature? Kung patuyo ko na na ito, ah, nag-move na siya. Again, this one is the slip rings. Slip rings. Now, para ma-capture na ito ang yang kuan, so, naatay mga brushes. Kaning brushes class, anyways, mara na siya nag-connect para makuha na ito kay di biya pwede directly ato na ikunig ang armature sa kurinti ari ang mabubod so naradri ang power supply I mean not power supply dira na ito ma-generate ang kurinti assuming this is positive but since this is AC so mabailubail ni siya may, may be positive negative positive so AC man siya another brush is nasa second nga ring connected po na siya so we now have two terminal dira na to ma-capture ang yang kwan. And we're going to call this one as brush. So, ang brush, muna siya nag-connect sa ato ang slip rings pa dong sa ato ang uh, power line. Okay. So, as this armature winding rotates, maka-generate taog voltage by this formula. Kani. Kani nga formula, E is equals to negative VBL. Again, dapat si conductor should be perpendicular to your magnetic field to have a maximum um, generation of your voltage. Now, if that is the case, then natay mga series of operations. Ang nakalahi na dahil sa kuan, added information, ang nakalahi na sa DC generator, ang output niya is naka-DC, meaning delete siya alternating. So, for a DC generator, it uses split rings. Uh, split rings. It uses uh, split rings rather than slip rings. Ang sa'yo pasabot sa split rings? Sa split rings class, ang iyahang koan is yung ani ra. Yung ani. Then yung ani. Naigap ba? So, if you have a brush, 
na dira or a, a, a commutator so wala siya so here ang pag change sa sign dire is depende kung asa na po yung connect ni commutator 1 or ni brush 1 or ni brush 2 so unlike slip ang slip kay separate yun sila ang split kay na tong alang same ring pro nalay gap diri ah na space so mana siya for a DC generator it uses slip rings ad rather than slip rings so to analyze the working principle behind this generator so drawing na punta sa yahang front view so again considering we have two permanent magnets N and S I mean this is north then this is south now, starting with a 90 degree position sa ito ang armature. The same with the DC motor kag kaganiha. So, at 90, diba, this is our shaft. Assuming nga, uh, patuyo ko na to, ha. Again, walay current nga mo agi diri kay this is, this is generator, not a DC. Again, the magnetic field should be from north to south. Dapat horizontal. Since here, since our theta or ato lang denote nga dri a um, wire is uh, perpendicular perpendicular with a uh, magnetic field B so therefore what is the uh, induced voltage here is it maximum class or minimum assuming always nang tuyok ni siya Saman class. Kung sa may induced voltage dire kung perpendicular ang atong wire sa ato ang magnetic field sulod sa generator. Di ba maximum? Okay, so E here is E max and also E positive. Okay, E max and E positive, meaning dako kanig value, then ang iyahang polarity is positive. And then by Lenz law, the result here is positive. However, kung mo taak na po siya og 0 degree ng angle, so this is N and then this is S. So, Pag 0 na po niya, so yung ni siya, 0 na po siya, so mani iyahang kuan. Again, still rotating ni siya. Still rotating and then the direction of the magnetic field is from north to south. North to south. So here, they are parallel na. So ato ibutang wire or the conductor is parallel to the magnetic field. So this is the symbol for parallel. So, parallel to the magnetic field, we don't have an induced voltage here. Tungod kay parallel man siya. Maka-induce at voltage kung perpendicular. So, E here is 0. Then, lastly, ang last position is kanisya. Well, ang sunod mo yung position na po ani after this is balik-balik na. So, matrapod siya sa ubos at at kanang kuan. This is 270 with respect to 0 as a reference. So, 270 degrees sa ubos. Still rotating ha. Kaya generator man eh. So, nag-rotate gihapon. Then, a magnetic field is still perpendicular. So, here, 90 degrees na siya. But, to naman siya sa ubos. Okay? So, malahi na ang sign sa ato ang maximum value sa atong e diriya. So, here, this is wire is now perpendicular to our magnetic field. So, this is symbol for perpendicular. Pag perpendicular na siya, we can again attain the maximum value of our E. That is, E is equals to E max. However, this is negative. So, kung dako ni siya nga number nga negative, uh, we can just call this as E min. Now, if we're going to plot this three starting from one two and three actually we can we can generate a sine curve so monang sa ac natay sinusoidal uh, sinusoidal nga wave 
we're in the uh, uh, ordinate here is the voltage then we have your time so at first money may tabo zero so what pa then start siya nga to paubos pa diri so here ang kaning peak diri sa babaw money siya yung gitawag nga diri ang ato ang e max meaning the wire here is perpendicular to your um magnetic field here at zero uh, kanin siya a uh, wire is parallel to your magnetic field diri sa ubos e min that is wire is perpendicular to your magnetic field but opposite and direction opposite direction mo nang negative siya Okay, so mo na tong alternating current mo nang naka sine wave siya tungod ni ani nga phenomenon nga pag tuyok sa atong generator especially using an AC generator nga nice slip rings so may tabo at an angle of theta that is naka straight ang atong armature so meaning ang angle between magnetic field and wire is 90 degrees perpendicular so maximum ang ato ang kuan maximum ato may induce voltage and then positive that's why highest peak sa ato ang sinusoidal nga curve this tong pag graph then mo touch siya zero tungod kay at zero degrees the angle between the wire and the magnetic field is now parallel so mao nang wala tay ma generate ana again ang formula nga nag govern sa generator is kay e is equals to negative velocity magnetic field times the length of the conductor and see to it that the conductor and the magnetic field should be perpendicular to each other in order to achieve a maximum value of our e okay so naipang utana ni okay so let's proceed to some problems so here we have a wire dow 10 meters long moves with a speed so given wire 10 meters long that is lc is equals to 10 meters moves with a speed so it has a velocity of uh, 50 meters per second through a uniform magnetic field of strength 0.5 tesla so that is our b diba 0 0.5 tesla if the wire the magnetic field and the motion are mutually perpendicular so all of this parameters are perpendicular so we can say that yeah maka output siya og maximum nga emf so ang ipangita required is the mac, uh, the emf nga ma-produce that is e okay so we can use those formula di ay assume, given ha nga katong nga formula class ang gihatag ninyo is ang conductor should be perpendicular with the magnetic field so um solution So that is sa to e no e sa so to butang ari e is equals to uh, v vbl or by lens lo negative pud dira pud that is negative times 50 meters per second multiplied by uh, tesla 0.5 then multiplied by the length that is 10 meters again dapat si velocity naka meters per second si magnetic field naka tesla or weber's per square meter and then si length naka meter so solving that one ang induced nga voltage is um, negative 50 times 0.5 times 10 that is neg uh, negative 250 volts Pasabot ani is opposite ni siya nga direction or if you just want to know the magnitude that is just 250 volts lang. Now, mo ni ang answer no. Kung mag-answer mo mga other problems, especially if naka connected siya series of um conductors na, well, any i denote diri sa atong general formula is for E this is a vector quantity for our negative velocity velocity is a vector quantity and of course magnetic field vector quantity the length is only the scalar siya lang ang scalar meaning 
kwa nisha um, uh, independent ni siya scalar so kanin velocity if mag negative ni so ma apply ka ni negative negative yung positive na then kung negative po ni siya in negative po ni siya diriya okay in our example here simple naman ni siya wala mo siya nag talk of two or more um, conductors then ilang orientation so wala man so mga nang simple lang uh, E is equal sa negative V B L anyways this is just a fundamental uh, kanang kuhan fundamental ni siyang application so wala yung pangotanay class sabtan ra okay so let's proceed to the last kind of topic for this module kani magnetism because magnetism since na apply naman nato ang electromagnetism so ang electromagnetism po is ma apply nato sa transformer are you familiar with transformer nakita na ba mo transformer class kita na mo transformer kani siya ba Okay, pagkita ninyo ha. Nag-search mo transformer. So, kani siya. Are you familiar with this? Kani? So, naka, nakabungkag naman eh. Nakabungkag naman eh. So, basically, ah, nabungkag na. <laughs> mayo mayo so atan transformer ay ang composition is na siya is central core iyang central core kay nakakuan siya di ba square siya so close siya close loop unya na siya windings dua ka buok the first one is the primary winding so click na ko ni kotro sa iha schematic diagram we have here the primary winding and then the secondary winding so according to Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction Okay, so, balik ta sa kan, slide. So, dito makita, Faraday's Law of Electromagnetic Induction. Ayan siya dire, a time-changing magnetic field induces a voltage in a coil of wire if it passes through that coil. Uh, kung maglisod mo ang interpret so, balik ta sa diagram sa transformer. Let's say, money siya, money yung iron core ha. Iron core. So, iron core connected siya and then uh, we have our primary winding sa left side. So, primary winding sa left side. Di depende kung pila ka turns. And then we also have a uh, secondary windings on the other side. So, secondary windings on the other side. Okay, so siya. Again, this is the primary side primary then this is the secondary nga side okay ang pasabot aning a time changing magnetic field induces a voltage in a coil of wire it, if it passes through that coil now we have a primary source here if the primary source class atin ay balik, balik tadon balik tadon ba mean kag time changing magnetic field if we have a source here positive and negative Kung ato na butangan dila o current, di ba? Na ay induce nga magnetic field diri ah. Okay, na ay may induce nga magnetic field. Na ay ma or na ay ma-generate. Okay, na ay ma-generate. However, di gina ni mo usbon, wala. Wala, well, mag-generator siya. Ngayon, narapod diri. Okay, wala ay voltage diri. Kaya, oh, wag ganun ni mag -isak -isak. However, Kung imo na baliktad baliktad baliktaron, imo na ibali-bali ba? Ah, diri na pud negative, diri na pud positive. So dapat diri na pud positive, negative. So na ay na ay changing nga may tabo sa so, man ay a time changing magnetic field. So pag bali-bali nimo ang magnetic field po diri, mo bali po, di ba? Magnetic field is a vector quantity. So pangadto na pud siya, pangadto nya. Pag bali na pud, mo gawas na pud. Mo gawas na pud. Pag bali na pud, mo balik diri, mo balik. So therefore, in that way class kung naa kay multimeter pag sukod nimo di sa secondary naa na kay voltage nga ma generate okay more na ang essence sa ato ang transformer 
Now, na po tayo gitawag nga step up and step down transformer because in the transformer class, ang pag-analyze sa transformer is sa left side, okay, na tayo mga list of parameters here. Sa left side, that is the primary side, na tayo current ara, that is IS. Na po tayo velocity, I mean volume, I mean voltage, dira IS. Next is, na po tayo number of turns sa primary. And then, here, in the secondary, the same thing. We also have here, I, I, sorry, dapat dire IP. IP, VP kay primary man. So, here, IP ni dira. IP, VP, and NP. Then here, IS, VS, and NS. Marsha, that is the current, the voltage, and the number of turns. Now, na ay duha ka types of transformers. Two types of transformers. We have the first one. Na may na may idea ang sa first nga types of transformer. Namo yung idea class? Wala. Wala mo ano sa inyo ha high school or senior high? <laughs> Nakalimta na. So, naito ka klase. Natay kita wag nga step up transformer. Step up nga transformer. Onya ay kaduha is step down. So, nakainom-dom na. Nakasugat naman eh. Step up and step down. Or wala gihapon. Okay. Step down transformer. Now, yung marang ato na masabtan ang gitawag na step up transformer sa iya mga coils. That is, the number of turns in the primary, kung step up ta ha, is less than the number of turns in the secondary. Why? Pasabot aning step up, step up, and step down, step down is that ato gipa sa kaya bulta, bultahe. Wala na siya nagpasabot ha nga unlimited ang ato ma produce aning ang nga power kay uy, pwede dahi sir makasaka o transformer sir from zero, I mean from one voltage niya imo pa up to 1 million or infinity nga volts. Nope, di na may himo. Kay napailain nga restriction ang transformer. So, here, ato lang yung assume nga, step up gali, pasakaon ang voltage. So, butang diri, uh, increase the voltage. Now, for step down, oh, that is the number of turns in the uh, uh, primary is now greater than the number of turns in the secondary. So, decrease ang voltage. Now, asam din yung magamit ng transformer, sir. So, kanin transformer, well, yung ani ang chain sa transformer. Diba? Naamatay pa source of power, diba? Sa ato, diri kay, we have, ako ka ng heat, diri. Diba? We have geothermal power coming from the steam underground. Then, giso ni ang turbine to the generator to produce the electricity and then gipaagi o mga power lines okay, gipaagi power lines o ang kanina power lines saka ang kanan niya is in megawatts let's say this is 20 megawatts at 10,000 volts do you think yung mong silpon isaksak niya na muga na o matik, buto dahil na that's why ang sa ito buhaton o, kana nga voltage, ato na pag yan, kay para mo compatible siya sa ato mga devices. That's why, paagiho na to sa ato ang transformer. This transformer is step down. Tungod kay gipagamay na to ang voltay. So, ato is step down para magamit na nato sa ato ang balay. Sa sunod sa balay, maka-charge na ka sa imuhang cellphone. So, na, kwan na? Nag-get try, ha, kwan? 
So yan ara, we have step down and step up nga transformer. Usually, akong mabantayan at makitaan ang step down. Meaning, we decrease the voltage. So, um, here, let's solve for the relationship that exists between these, koan, between these three parameters. Okay, let's start with our analysis by the first kanang koan by the first condition meaning sa transformer that's why we cannot increase voltage at infinity and we cannot also decrease voltage up to zero because of this first nga condition that is the power at the primary primary side is equal to the secondary Meaning, more good na. Equal good. Assuming, na po ni siya. Since this is, this is a device, this is not a perfect engine by the laws of thermodynamics, assuming lang na ito ang class nga 100% na siya nga efficient nga atong transformer. Of course, in reality, we cannot guarantee 100% efficient nga device because it, it will violate the laws of thermodynamics. Diri a sa atong analysis, assume lang tanga 100% efficient. Meaning, that is power at the primary. That is, power at the primary is just equal to the power at the secondary. Class, what is the formula for power in terms of voltage and current? That is, ang saan to? Okay, okay, product. So, that is IP times VP equal to IS times VS. So, this is the relationship between the primary voltages and currents towards the secondary voltage and the current. So, mara na siya ang first nga condition. The second condition is mara to siyang the, uh, the voltage and the uh, number of turns, that is the N, is directly proportional. Directly proportional. So, when we say directly proportional class, kung daghan ni mong tuyok ang primary, dako po nag voltage ara. Kung paggamyan ni mong secondary, magamay po ng voltage ara. So, in symbol, that is, uh, NP over VP is equal to NS over VS. So, marni ato yun hinumduman to calculate for the kanang koan, for the parameters used in transformer. That is, the first condition is in terms of power. So, power in the primary is just the same as the power in the secondary, assuming 100% efficient nga transformer. Ikaduha is the voltage and the number of turns in both primary and secondary are directly proportional. So, let's have koan, let's have our final uh, problem for this uh, koan class, for this topic. So, here we have a transformer operates on uh, 2500 volt lines. So, here we have the transformer. So, nag-operate daw siya at 2,500 volts line, meaning we have here a primary voltage of koan. We have a primary voltage of 2,500. So, yan na siya. So, given given that is um, uh, VP, the primary voltage is uh, 2,500 volts. So, na siya diri VP and delivers a current of 80 amperes. Now, as how many pasabot aning delivers a current class? As how many dapit? Is it from the primary or secondary? Nabani siya sa primary or sa secondary? Ingaman, nag-deliver daw ang transformer of 80 amps. Is it at the primary or at the secondary? Okay, secondary na. Since ang input sa transformer ay nasa primary. So, may duman, this is the input of the transformer at the primary. 
and this is the output of the transformer at the secondary so that is a given na to ah, uh, kano siya IS 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 80 amperes next, if the turn ratio daw ang ratio sa number of turns that is NP to NS so butan dire NP over NS daw is equal to 20 is to 1 so just simply 20 determine A the secondary voltage so natay dagang requirements dire ah so required uh, we have the secondary voltage for letter A we have Vs letter B the primary current that is IP letter C the power output that is uh, one, uh, P output or at the PS assuming 100% efficiency Okay, so solution. So let's start by solving uh, letter A. That is Vs. Now, the only way here to solve for Vs is uh, by using the second condition, katong the relationship between the voltage and the number of turns. So we already know that... Um, Vs over Ns is equals to Vp over Np. Since given man si Vp niya, si Ns and Np, given put so okay ra. But we need to uh, modify this first so that magtapad ni si Np over Ns. So may mo na siyang Np over Ns is equals to Vp over Vs. Since gipaita si Vs, so cross multiply. Mahima na siyang Vs is equals to um, Mahima na siyang Vp Vp times Ns over Np Okay, now Ns over Np is just the reciprocal of this given, 20 So that is Vs is just equal to Vp here is 2500 volts So 2500 volts multiplied by 1 over 20 so the answer here I divide by 20 2500 divided by 20 that is 125 volts so 125 volts that is for the uh, primary voltage then for letter B That is the uh, primary current, IP. So here, primary current, um, since na naman tay VP og uh, VS, so we can now solve by using the first condition, diba? the power of the primary is equal to the power of the secondary. So that is, we have VP IP, Areas, we have VPIP is just equal to VS IS. So given C VP, given put C VS, given C IS, so we cannot solve for IP. IP is just equal to VS IS all over VP. So plugging in the values, the voltage at the secondary, na to 125. Divide by IS is 80 amperes. Divide by VP is 2,500 volts. So our current at the uh, primary is um, 125 multiplied by 80 divided by 2,500. So the answer here is uh, katonga siya. That is, I mean, dilde katonga. Mugamay siya. Gamay kayo ang imuhang primary 4 amps or 4 amperes okay and then for the last ang C well since this is a koan P output man ya? P output since this is 100% efficient now we can 
solve for the power output using this IP over VP or IS VS since 100% efficient man so equal ra ang input power is just the same as the output power so solving either of this given so ako ah, mo-choose lang ko sa secondary so for secondary I have 80 amperes and then the secondary voltage is 125 volts so therefore my power output my power output is equal to Tani erase dili. Power output is equal to 80 times 125 that is 10,000 watts. So this is 10,000 watts or also this also 10 kilowatts. Okay, that is our power output for our transformer. Mona iyahang ma magawa sa iya device. Okay, so um, mona siya ang last. So, naipangotan na ani? Eh?